home for 49ers football in the 916. Set down sports. The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song, and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone. And then boom! With Jason Ross. No, he did it. Yes, he did. Call or text at 916-339-1140. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. On- Uh, I, not for nothing, but I was doing some math. This is our fifth show in seven days. Yeah. Don't expect a lot today. Yeah. Do not expect a lot. Hi. Uh, it's Carmichael Day. Jason Ross, Chris Rilad. Good morning. 6 a.m. and 30 seconds. Hey, happy birthday to my cousin Tantra. Happy birthday. Tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> I saw the... I saw the notification and clicked on it. Happy birthday, Tom. 46 tomorrow. Uh, she is the eldest of all the cousins. So, yeah, you're in the neighborhood there. Uh, yeah, we'll throw her on celebrity birthdays. Dave's cousin, Tantra, on celebrity birthdays. Uh, one of my heroes graduated cum laude from Cal and has spent her entire life in the, uh, I think, the Richmond or Oakland school district between the two teaching Kindergarten, second grade, and third grade. That's just what she does. That's a respectable job. And she ain't just teaching, you know, the classes either. I mean, she she bonds with these kids and makes an actual difference in life. We talk about sports, and we hope we make a difference in uh, your life today. Um, By the way, I'm sure you've worn that before, but it's a nice color. Thank you. It uh, matches my eyes. What would that be? It's it's blue-ish, obviously, but like it's a shade. It's not baby blue. It's no. not aqua. It's not turquoise. I don't know what that it's not there's a word for it. It's bleen. Blue green. Blue green. I thought it's more of a bluish gray. Blay. Blay. Um grew. Grew. Somebody who's already look at the uh, YouTube chat. Tell us what color uh, Jason Ross is. Steel. Steel uh, blue. Oh, I like that. One. Steel blue. I like that. Sounds, isn't that a movie with Ben Stiller or something? Ben Stiller. No, no. that'd be more like Arnold. No, no that's the you're thinking of uh, where he's the male models. Zoolander. Zoolander. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. his one of his looks. That's right. Blue steel. That's right. Blue steel. Yes, that's why that was in my head. Thank you. Um. So you ever, whether you're gambling. Or things are going well, and you don't want to say anything or acknowledge it's it's like a no hitter, like you don't want to acknowledge it because you're on a good streak. I'm gonna do that right now, knowing that I'm making a horrible mistake. But really, this has been going on for years, and I've never really acknowledged it. And I feel like I need to out of gratitude. Grocery store sushi is underrated. <laughs> I, 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 it really is kind of like done with the show. I don't want to do fast food, although I guess that's technically fast food. You just go in, grab it. I don't know. Is it? You just go and grab I it. I wouldn't say it is. Okay. And the, under the true traditional term. And I won't, you know, I'm not trying to do a free plug here. Um, but I will tell you this. I'll, I won't use, I won't use store names. But I will say that um, where in the part of town I live, there is a well-known people will be able to read through the lines here. There is a well-known cheap grocery store, and right across the street from it is a well-known kind of upper end ish grocery store. I mean, we're not talking like Sprouts or Nugget upper end, but you know, and Albertsons. We- Weirdly enough, I miss Albertsons. Are there even any Albertsons anymore? I think in Southern Mart? California. Is it, uh, huh? Isn't it Save Mart? Albertsons is Save Mart now? I didn't know that. I think the last Albertsons, I, no, that was a Safeway, right? On Alhambra, right by, right, right yeah. at the exit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, there used to be an Albertsons in Carmichael, I think on 
got a Marconi and Walnut by the round. I don't know where. Anyways, which I believe is a save mark. I think you're right, actually. So the funny thing is, is that the discount store, the one you go to generally to buy cheap groceries, it's, you know, everything, you know, like Triscuits are like a dollar cheaper there every time. Like they also have sushi, but it's more expensive than the sushi at the upper end place. I I, I can get a, uh, you know, like six, six of them sashimis on the rice, whatever that is, where it's just, it's just fish on rice. And then like six little pieces of like some dumb roll, like a California roll, nothing, nothing complicated. I can get that for like eight ninety nine at this other place. Right. So I roll, you know, there's occasions where I just, I feel I'm, I'm hungry. I need something filling. I don't want to make anything. And I don't want, fa- I don't want, I just, I don't want fast food. And I roll in like I did yesterday. Uh, Cause I, I was at the, I had to, I was at the dentist for, I had a crown yesterday, which what, my guy is amazing. It's Kenny Thomas's guy. Props to Kenny. He turned me on to him. He's fantastic. But you're still in a dentist chair for two hours and you leave and blah, 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 you know, you're half your jaws numb. So I, I also wanted the benefit of something that wasn't, you know, crunchy or hard. So I went and, you know, that's my go-to. I grab grab sushi. It's got a little bit of wasabi, a couple packets of soy sauce, free chopsticks. You know, to pay for them. I come home, I pound the sushi. I'm full, you know. And I thought about it. I go, you know, I've been doing this for a long time. And I, I, I feel like grocery store sushi I'm not trying to say don't go to Makuni. I'm not trying to say don't go to the, I'm saying in a pinch, grocery store sushi is underrated. So your resistance to bring this up was some sort of jinx that you're going to get a terrible batch next time? Yes. Yes. Mm. Yes. That some, because I can tell you this right now, if at any point I get any form of sickness. You're done with it? Yes. Until you're not. Mm, nah. If You've I, never gone back to a place that you had, uh, or have you ever gone back to a place? Well, I can tell you this. When I was a youngster, and I used to, uh, on the, on, you know, I've never been a drinker, drinker, but I, you know, when you do the occasional whatever, there was a night where I got, uh, I got pretty hammered on Jägermeister, and that, I have not touched that since I was in my, uh, since I was barely legal. Let's put it that mm. way, illegal to drink. I'm guessing it wasn't that you don't want to go back to it because of it going down, but coming up. Oh, that's correct. And boy, did it come up. And now anything near that, like Jägermeister, Goldschlager, Peppermint, Schnapps, nope, they're all off the board. I won't, I, I will, even if I did drink, I would not touch any of those, which is weird because literally two of my closest, best lifelong friends, they're, they're family to me. And one I've known since fourth grade and one I've known since junior high. I mean, they're as close to me as you could possibly be without being, you know, blood. They are flaming alcoholics. And what I, what I mean by that is I'm not like, I don't know how they're able. I've never known how they're able to function. They both have really good jobs. Mm -hmm. I won't say where they work, but they actually both work for the same employer, which a lot of people do here in Sacramento. They make the sushi. They do not. Oh. And I don't know how the hell they function because these guys can go out on a Tuesday and just get schlackered, never get hung over, never. I mean, I wouldn't consider us best friends, but that's kind of nice of you. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, like there's some people that when they eat cilantro, it tastes like dish soap. Yeah. I also think there's got to be some people that just, they don't have that gene to get hung over. Um, I remember one time we I was talking garbage to them. They had this thing called the Century Club where you try to drink 100 shots of beer in 100 minutes, right? It's apparently a lot. And both of them got, uh, one of them got to one, they both got to 150 and quit. And that was on a Tuesday. And they were back to work on a Wednesday. I, I could have three shots of beer and there's a 50-50 shot that I, uh, no pun intended, that I'm just out of it the next day. Right. It's really strange. Um, Why was I there? Why did I talk about? They're blatant alcoholism. Um, oh, my point is this. You know, we were talking about not going back to the stuff. No, what I'm saying is, is that for the rest of my career on the radio, if I ever am out because of a, if I ever get food poisoning, if I ever have the flu, 
everything on everything here and everything on Twitter is going to be, oh, he must have had that grocery store sushi. <laughs> and I am kind of scared to death in a way. Like you hear these horror stories about like this dude ate a thing of sushi and there was some parasite worm thing right. that like went into his brain or whatever. Like I, I'm, I'm aware of that stuff, but I got to feel like these places have, have similar, you know, they got to use uh, sashimi grade fish. And I see that there's a really nice guy behind the counter that's that. Oh, if he's nice, then it's he okay. is nice. He's very nice. Yeah. And uh, he always says hello, and you know, here's what we have. And do you want? Do you have any requests? And I don't. I just take whatever's there. You know, it's usually so no food poisoning. No food poisoning is my big request. And he's making it right in front of me, so of course it's fresh. I don't know. I just like when I was also in you know teens, early twenties. I had no problem rolling into AMPM for the two burgers for ninety nine cents. Like mm. that's a fine meal. Mm. And uh, I do that often, maybe occasionally the hot dog, maybe the ice cream. Mm, gross. How about the, uh, yeah, the hot dogs in that roll, the t- uh, taquito in there? Yeah, the taquitos. Oh, what I never did, I never did the burritos. Oh, I just, I, I have standards. Yeah, I have standards, dude. Yeah. That just, that just, that to me, scream, just, just, you know, paint the fence. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, now I would not, I just, I look at the stuff. I go into an AMPM or a Chevron or something. And I look at like the little rolly wheel with all the stuff on it. Yeah. And, and I just go, God, I, I, I feel like if I had any of that, I, I would just, I'd be sitting down quite a bit over the next yeah. couple of days. But, and you know, this, if you go to like Louisiana, for example, their gas station food is a whole different ball game. Like it's they, epic. they, it is epic. And I would have never tried it if a local friend hadn't been like, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. This isn't California gas station food. They, no, they take pride in this. You're going to, there are some really good places yeah. you can eat. And Fried chicken, burgers, burritos, jambalaya. Yeah. I mean, they've got all, you know, Ufaladas. even Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Just sitting there. And I've seen a little bit of that. Um, I don't, I don't know the name of it, but there's like a, there is like a chicken fingers outfit that is now starting to merge into a lot of these gas stations here where there are some gas stations that are like, oh, maybe we should try some upper end, you know, to go food out of here. And I imagine that's a that's a good deal for them. But just shout out to grocery store sushi. Yeah. You know, shout out. It's 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 relatively cheap, easy. I imagine semi healthy. Co op has a pretty good deal. Who uh co op? Co op. Yeah. What is that? The Sacramento Co-op. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know nothing about this. Oh, it's off the Alhambra. Oh, is it? Is it just like a grocery store? Or? Mm-hmm. Why do they call it a co-op? Because it's a co-op. <laughs> but what's a co-op? No, I know. What, but what is that? Like uh, customers like have like you can get part ownership in the grocery store. Really? Like the idea is you donate money to like make it a better place. And what do you get for donating that money? You get like discounts at the store. So is it like a is it like a membership is it like like no no no. like i can i don't have a membership but i can go in and get food but you don't get that discount type it's one of those things that's better if you're going there all the time Uh uh-huh oh so i understand it's not the same but is it basically like a different sam's club where you you buy a card and you get the discounts and you can shop there and you know what i'm saying like i feel like it sounds the same but i'm probably missing something kind it's more it's like the idea is it's more of a public spot do they have to order 50 hot dogs with a soda? They do not. Yeah, because uh, let me tell you, did that last weekend. That's like my wife's and I favorite date. Yeah. We do it once a month. Only once a month? <clears throat> yeah, dude, because I... Well, we have standards. Look, I'm going to get really personal here, and then we got to go to break. I'm going to use specifics. We hadn't been to Sam's Club in a while. Now, at Sam's Club, I love it because I can take my little app out and I can scan all the items. So then you don't have to wait in line. You can just check right out, right? They just scan like four items in your cart and let you go. So you scan them with the barcodes with your phone. Super fun to me. So like I'll put the stuff in the cart. My wife will hold it up and I scan it. We have this rhythm, right? It's super fun. Beep, beep, beep. You know, at Sam's Club, you know, we stocked up on some things. I'm not going to lie. Like this is a bigger trip. But the idea when you go to a Sam's Club or a Costco is you're saving money, right? Ideally. On the thing, it shows you how much you've spent. We're going down the aisle. I knew we would bought a lot of stuff. I knew we had, but not a lot. We didn't have any big purchases. Like, we're talking like a giant thing of toilet paper, paper, that that type of thing. We're on the way out. 
$491. Oh, man, I'm out of cash. I almost was like, what are we putting back? This is ridiculous. And my wife says, no, long term, we're going to save money. So let's go get a hot dog. And, and, that, and that's, I think. I mean, if you're thinking about this is for the entire month. One hundred dollars a week. That's not bad. It, honestly, and some of the stuff like, but also it's like we now have sixteen cans of black olives. I know we'll use them. But All sixteen. At some point, they don't yeah. go bad. They don't go bad, and they're the Lindsay olives, not the generic ones. They're all pretty. Oh, the Lindsay olives. Lindsay olives are the best. I mean, not the best, but you know, of the readily available black olives on the market. Yeah, and the grocery store, Lindsay's are the best. If you try to get the discount ones, look at them. They're all pretty. So if you want to eat them as a little snack, you're eating pretty, pretty, pretty olives. I don't want pretty olives. Can you even stick them on your finger? Uh, you can't. Do you do that? My fingers are too fat now. They're just too big. Uh, what Toes? else? But uh, yes, and uh, nostril uh, or at, end of the nose. Also, a uh, little known fact: if you are a drinker, um, the uh, uh, the juice, the water, the whatever it is, olive the, juice, the, the olive juice, the blah, really good in. Uh, it, you, you save it in uh, martini. Little black olive juice. All the martinis you have. Tons of martinis, yeah. bro. I am a martini connoisseur. So there's that. So really the point is shout out to grocery stores. That's, that's what it was. Uh, I would honestly rather talk about that all day. But we have a job to do. And uh, we got to talk about last night as the uh, Kings got pantsed. Uh, not the Wolody, but we'll discuss. Or was it? Uh, maybe a, a certain category of Wolody. Uh, NFL proved a bunch of stuff yesterday. We, we didn't have time to get into that. We shall. Uh, Katie will join us at 9 a.m. and make a bunch of excuses for why they lost last night. And we'll, we'll argue about that. I mean, hey, <laughs> am I lying? We'll, we'll, we'll do that at 9 a.m. Uh, and much more. It's David, Jason, it's Chris. It is Sacktown Sports. We're right back. Has Monty put together a roster that can help make a deep playoff run this season? Just trying to to give coach options, give him guys that um, you know can help us win in a variety of areas. Obviously, our top guys are going to play every game, but there's going to be other times whether it's injuries, matchups. Uh, we've got to have uh, you know some variety on the bench for for uh, coach to to point to and say go go in there and help us win. Tune into every Kings game this season on Sacktown Sports and SacktownSports.com. Hey, it's Carmichael Dave inviting you to make the switch to electric this spring and save big with American Energy. Stay ahead of the spiking energy bills this summer with up to nine grand in rebates on a new ultra high efficiency comfort system. American Energy is providing huge rebates from SMUD as well as spring specials by installing one of many incredibly efficient AC options available to you right now. Get rid of those fluctuating gas bills in the winter and switch to year-round all-electric with American Energy. Let them perform a free in-home energy efficiency analysis and see where they can help you save for the warmer months ahead. These guys are the best. Been serving the greater Sacramento area since 1981. A-plus from the Better Business Bureau. Learn more by calling 916-520-9990. That's 916-520-9990. Call 916 Let's do it. Do it. Leading off the three top stories in the morning. Huge news. This is very important. Here's cut number one. That's on top of Washington. Give it up to Kyrie. Stops, launches another three, scores another three. Henry, the weapons that they have. I mean, we knew when Luca had the big first half, we hadn't heard much from Kyrie. Well, that story has changed. Yeah, it has. Well, you know, Jason, I have a saying. What's that? Doesn't matter if you lose by one on NBC Sports California or you lose by 30,000 on TNT or more accurately, True TV. Hmm. It still shows up the same in the loss column. That is the saying I've heard you say a lot. A lot. On, well, I'm not the only one that says that, obviously. Yeah. it's a, Especially it, the True TV part. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. That was a TNT game. Well, it was. But was it on TNT? Yeah. It's because the Lakers, Bucks. Oh, forever. it started on True T. Oh, yeah. I never made the switch. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that one went double overtime. Thanks a lot, Lakers. They have a thing like they tell you on the national TV game, like, oh, we're going to have a five minute slide because the previous game is taking too long. Well, the Lakers were down enough with like three minutes to go. They're like, yeah, no slide. No slide. 
we're going to get this game started on time. It's going to be fine. And then the Lakers came back, forced overtime, forced a double overtime. And yeah, so the, some fans had to wait a while unless you switched over to True TV. That was an omen. Yeah. Well, it looked good for a, a, most of the first quarter. I actually, even at halftime, I was when it was only five mm. and looking at stats, you went, wow, Dallas made so many threes. Mm. Luca was incredible. Yeah. Kings have been okay. How is this only a five point game? And then the second half happened and it, oof, oof. Woof. Yeah. It got really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, that Keon Ellis sure is a stopper. <laughs> wow. Dave's turning on the guys. Already turned. Well, I'd be I'd be curious to hear your list of kings that played well. Uh, okay, I will give it to you. Mm. Well, offensively, Keon Ellis, <laughs> it was four or five. I know nobody played well. It was exactly dumb. it was dumb. It was lame. Uh, but you know what? We'll talk about it. I uh, I know I'm usually poopy pants after this stuff, um, and I just made fun of Katie. Must have been that sushi. That must have been the sushi. <laughs> uh, and, and and I know I just made fun of Katie saying she'll make excuses, but I do think there's something here to that. Well, Friday will tell us, but I all leading up to this game, there were more than a few people around the team that were you know you don't want to you don't want to already acknowledge a loss, but it was more of a like. <sighs> Man, fifth game in seven nights, like it's gonna be it's gonna be a challenge. Hopefully these guys can that is a tough thing, man. It is. And I know that the Mavericks were on the second night of a back to back. I but understand. five and seven is the sometimes it it hasn't happened for a couple of seasons. Right. That's not something that you're they've no, kept that away from teams. That's correct. And it wasn't just like it's one thing if it's five of seven and you know, a bunch of them are at home right. and then you went to Phoenix and LA and Portland or something. No, this was five of seven, including a full East Coast road trip, Toronto customs, uh, a couple of back to backs, a late arrival in DC. Like they're they're just they need these these days off. Now, that might all be garbage. Right. And then they come out on Friday and just get pantsed again, then we got something to really worry about. But I I I I think it fits in the sense of as the game wore on, the Kings seemed to just get worse. Yeah, and I, I mean, I don't wouldn't say it was effort per se, but it's like sometimes you can see the finish line, and you're like, yeah, we just don't have it, and you let go of the rope. Whatever the phrasing is, Coach, I mean, Dallas had it for one. Like, Dallas would have beat a lot of teams yesterday. Dallas shot the lights out. They deserve credit for that, but – um the other thing I wonder, and we'll speculate on it as, of course, as we get closer to Friday, I think the Kings match up well with Dallas, at least the previous version of Dallas. So uh, I've only seen the new version once, and the new version absolutely punked the Kings. So They really punked the Kings. So we'll see if if that's a thing or if that was just a, a one-game outlier. We'll see if, in fact, maybe the Kings now can't ever beat this team. <laughs> ever. Ever. This, yeah. new, this new Dallas team... Has the Kings number? Well, you know what? They're one and zero against them. They are. They are undefeated. Uh, Kings fall back into the play-in. We'll update you on all of that. And again, Katie will join us at nine. Uh, cut number two. Please. Cut number two. The owners have voted and spoken to approve the new hybrid kickoff rule. That's the latest from our NFL insider Jonathan Jones today. Reports that three teams actually voted against it: the Raiders, Packers, and the Niners. The new kickoff resembles the XFL format. If you've seen that before, the kick will still come from the 35-yard line, but the other 10 players will line up on the opponent's four. The receiving team will have at least seven in the nearby setup zone with a max of two returners at a landing zone between the goal line and the 20. What? It's totally clear. Well, that makes sense. I'm excited for football. I wish it was already here. I understand it just ended, but I like the footballs, right? I'm not excited for the start of the season in this aspect. I think the kickoff thing, like, we'll f they'll figure it out, but it's just going to be a cluster for a minute. And then one of the other rules adopted is the hip drop tackle mm -hmm. is now illegal. And, you know, just just basically, I don't know, it, it grab the guy's waist, you know, drop down, hips, pull him down, whatever. Like, 
I think this might be underrated. I think like I understand that it's making news and we're talking about it, so we're noticing it. But I actually think this actually like let's bookmark that. And, the waist tackle you're talking about? Or yeah, the, the, they've the, outlawed what, what they call hip yeah, drop. Yeah, I don't know if you're meant which one you meant. Um, or the kickoff. Yeah. yeah, no, no, no. The the yeah, the hip drop. Uh, the kickoff they'll figure out. And and by the way, that might be weird and whatever. But the, the hip drop tackle. Okay, first off, I like that it addresses one thing because we needed more scoring in the nfl you know not not too much defense you know is what everybody's been saying but the amount like what i don't like about this is that the amount of penalties that are going to be called like you're going to have a dude get tackled super awesome tackle like oh, okay let's move on second or like behind uh behind the line of scrimmage right oh it's a loss of three up oh, personal foul Hip drop, tackle, 15-yard penalty, first down. Like, trust me when I say. And I understand that we've had situations like this before and the players have adjusted. But I think anybody who's played football, anybody who's watched football understands just how, like, that's not like leading with your helmet, which is also difficult. This is like a basic tackling mechanism. And there's a lot of room for, like, well, did he drop his hips? Did he? Did his feet go out from under him? Did he lose his balance? Like, what? which caused him to put all his weight? Like, I understand they're looking out for injuries, and I'm not boomer guy that's like, well, put on some panties. You're going to be, be. No, like, I get it, and I'm all for, like, less brain fluid leaking on the field. Sure. Also, it's football. Also, it's football, where it's like, I'm all for – doing anything to prevent brain injuries and concussions but i gotta be honest below the waist eh, kind of fair game like i don't want to see anybody tor- torque a knee but i'm 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 a lot more sympathetic to 60 year old ex nfl player limping around because he tore his knees a few times than cte and all the stuff that comes with it like at some point we have to acknowledge that the nfl is a dangerous game and these guys sign up to play and it is a thing and if it's going, if you're just going to take every single thing from the defense and the old, you know, thing people bitch about, which is now, now I, when I tackle the quarterback, I have to pick him up mm. and I have to like give him a kiss and yeah. then I have to put a pillow underneath him and rub his head. Like, bro, what are we doing here? It's football, so we'll talk about that. I don't like. I it. think it's going to be fantastic. Uh, do you? People always want more football. Yes, they are going to get much more football because these games are going to be so long. Seriously, every game is going to be. F- uh, yeah, 55-54. Uh, you know what, though? There's a lot of scoring. Yeah. Uh, we will take a break. Oh, one uh, real quick aside. I've been meaning to tell you this for a while now, Chris. <clears throat> because I have, because my little gig now, because I have a number of English soccer fans now following me on Twitter, one of my favorite bits that's not a bit is happening is their absolute disdain and 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 questioning of why Americans are so into American football. And and what I mean by that is I'll get like diehard soccer guys like, I don't understand this fascination with American football. It's incredibly boring. And I'm in this spot where like I can't really say what I want to say, which is like, bro, hmm. American football is incredibly boring. You guys score like maybe twice a game. And if somebody gets hit, like they roll around for 30 yards until they get the magic spray. Like let's, let's calm down on, but that's a real thing, man. They don't get it. Cause like how many sports like stop over there? Like rugby doesn't stop. Soccer doesn't stop. No. Football is all stopping. Yeah. They don't, they do not. They think uh, they don't understand that concept at all. And they're like, it's just, it's just rugby with more pads. I mean, okay. I don't understand rugby. I don't either. It's like everyone just bumblebees around the ball until somebody farts it out, and then you run down the thing until somebody scores and you kick it. Those are the rules. Yeah, I don't don't understand it. Cricket, though. That I really don't know. I'm not even going to try with cricket. Uh, We'll take a break. Just some quick uh, sports potpourri when we come back. Uh, We'll do that at 643, including uh, some news on Coach Calipari. Excuse me. And uh, when we get back, though, Kings lose. Uh, Unfortunately, we have the audio. Plug your ears. Uh, We'll have all that for you next. Did you miss any part of our live local shows? Don't worry. You never have to miss them again. Check out SackdownSports.com and search our podcast page and play our shows when you want. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and The Drive Guys. Plus, other podcasts like Return of the Empire. 
Return of the Roar, the Stingers Up podcast, and Golf to Go with Frank LaRosa. They're all available right now on SactownSports.com. Welcome to the March Mania sales event at Kia of Vacaville, Northern California's premier destination for automotive excellence. Get ready for an exhilarating showcase of our 2024 vehicle lineup, where innovation meets the road and customer satisfaction reigns supreme. Step into the future with the all-new Kia Sportage, where cutting-edge design harmonizes with dynamic performance. Explore the outstanding fuel efficiency of the Kia Nero, a hybrid marvel that redefines eco-friendly driving. Experience the unparalleled luxury in versatility of the Kia Telluride, setting new standards for sophistication and practicality. Don't miss out on our impressive selection of eco-friendly Kia hybrid options, tailored for drivers who demand efficiency without compromising on style. And for those seeking the EV9, Kia Evacaville has it ready for delivery or in stock. Visit us today during March Mania and discover why Kia of Vacaville is the ultimate destination for automotive excellence. Model availability and features may vary. Please visit Kia of Vacaville for more information. NBAstore.com, the official online store of the NBA and the world's largest selection of officially licensed NBA fan gear with unique designs by Fanatics, Nike, and all the latest styles for every NBA team, plus one-of-a-kind products and authentic collectibles. Shop now and get today's special offer. NBAstore.com, a Fanatics experience. Dr. Ken Halachek and kinesiologist Kelsey Graham discuss the Good Feet Store. The foot has a lot of detail. It has a lot of complexity. There's a lot that can go wrong. A lot of problems start in the foot and end up elsewhere. Knee pain, hip pain, back pain. When aligning the feet properly, we can see relief elsewhere. And that's the beauty of the Good Feet Arch support. It can place the feet into their ideal position and gives them the balance, the support, the comfort, and the relief of the pain. The bottom line is that the Good Feet Arch support could be a highly effective pain relief solution when nothing else has worked. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are going to function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Visit the Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Modesto, Stockton, and Vacaville for a free fitting and test walk. Hey guys, do you know your tea level? Revive Men's Health here in Sacramento is helping you take that first step toward better health and enhanced intimacy with a free testosterone level test, exam, and consultation. Plus, for this month only, qualified patients can kickstart their treatment with a free supply of ED medication. Revive's customized ED treatments can provide immediate results, restore blood flow naturally, and even bring spontaneity back into your love life. With both in-person and telemedicine appointments available, plus free shipping directly to you, Revive takes the hassle out of treating low T and ED. Having an optimal testosterone level can change your whole life, and it starts with knowing your T level. Take that first step and book your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. And kickstart your treatment with a free supply of ED medication this month only. Call Revive Men's Health Sacramento at 916-365-4566. That's 916-365-4566 or visit revivemenshealth.com. The sewer system. It's probably the last thing on your mind, and that's okay. Because at the Sacramento Area Sewer District, it's our first priority. As the region's largest sewer utility, we own and maintain thousands of miles of sewer pipe. And our job is to get to your sewer problem before it interrupts your life. So whether you've got a slow drain or a backup, call us first, day or night. The Sacramento Area Sewer District. It's a dirty job, but we're happy to do it. This is for the men who never settle. The ones who believe only quitters and a game and a tie. The type of guys who choose the bar with the biggest TVs to overcompensate for theirs at home. And the men who use PTO to catch afternoon basketball in March with the boys. This is the Lodge mentality. This is Twin Peaks. Who wants to settle for a single TV? With more TVs, bigger screens, plus our fabulous scenic views, there's more to watch at Twin Peaks. National Ping Club Fitter of the Year, Hagen Oaks Golf Super Shop, is introducing the straightest, most forgiving Ping driver ever with the new Ping G430 Max 10K driver. A fixed back weight, Ping's largest head profile, and a carbon fly wrap crown help G430 Max 10K launch the ball higher with less spin for consistently longer and straighter results. 
Schedule your fitting and see for yourself at the Hagen Oaks Golf Super Shop, Fulton Avenue, Cap City Freeway, or online at HagenOaks.com. All guests come to you from the Folsom Lake Honda Hotline, Folsom Lake Honda, your one-stop Honda shop. A Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Call or text at 916-339-1140. On Sacktown Sports. So bonus, he's at the right elbow. Faces up, digs inside, kicks it out to Keon for three, and he nails the triple. A 5-0 start for Sacramento. Keon Ellis from downtown. Keon Ellis on the left wing in two-point range. Going to try a two-point floater. It bounces and settles in. Seven first quarter points for Keon Ellis. There's a secondary screen set. Luca works to the right wing, gonna launch his first three point shot of the night, and it barely ripples the twine. Seven points now for Doncic. He's off to a strong start, making three of four, and that's his first from downtown. 15 14, Kings lead by one. Ox in the vicinity of the right elbow circles back out to three point range, gets a reset from Harrison Barnes. Now he drives it, hesitates, puts up the floater for two and scores it. Last seven points, the Kings have scored, have been scored by De'Aaron Fox. It's 48-45. Stafford with a drive and a kick. Out on the left wing, Kyrie Irving launches for three, scores another triple. Biggest lead of the ball game for the Mavericks. Pass on top to Washington, give it up to Kyrie, stops, launches another three, scores another three. Henry, the weapons that they have. I mean, we, we knew when Luca had the big first half, we hadn't heard much from Kyrie. Well, that story has changed. The final margin is going to be 36 points, which will equal the worst loss by Sacramento this season. That was a hen against the New Orleans Pelicans. And there is the horn, and this one is mercifully over. The Kings lay a giant egg in front of a national television audience tonight at Golden One Center. They get spanked, 132 to 96. So Dallas has now got their first win in three games this season against Sacramento, and they'll attempt to uh, even the series on Friday night. Yeah, that's about as quick as I can get through those highlights, dude. I've got two good things that happened last night, believe it or not. Hold up. Two. Hold on. Oh, you have your pens? Yeah, I got my pens. I've got one too, so we'll see if it adds up with DJs. Okay. okay. I really only had one, but I just came up with a second one. All right, number one. Number one, and the least important of the two. Mm-hmm. It's over. It's. Like that game's oh, gone. That game's gone. It's done. It I'm going to underline over so for emphasis. Uh, number two. Yup. They played. We want the funk. Did they really? Twice. Now, I felt like they were kind of down a lot, and they played it. It's a tough one. Kind of played it a little low. Number three? Yeah. Free cookies last night. Oh, yeah. Crumble cookies. Yeah. Okay. But they played We Want the Monk, or We Got the Funk, whatever. (sighs) Gotta have that funk. Ow. And then you just change it into Monk. Okay. And they did off night. Like, we we, we still had the fun stuff-ish. Sure. So, full disclosure. Like, I love the We Want the the Funk idea, and mm-hmm. I hope that sticks. Also, kind of a funny bit if it crashes and burns. <laughs> and we got the Sabonis chant going, and then they're like, oh, yeah, it's not that it's not that easy, is it, guys? Can't just bring it up. You get one. You get one. <laughs> you get one. <laughs> one is a station. <laughs> you get one chance. Not everybody. Yeah. Could, no, it's – um. I mean, he was he was not that great. The team was not that great. I, but they did play it. I went, hey, there it is. I even texted the guys. I go, there it is. No chance these guys are listening at 638. I think Crosstalk's going to be fun. Because I think uh, the, the bit has to be. I'll, I'll, I will happily lead the way. Um, and Jason, you play good cop because you're so good at it. Like, I'm just going to be like, Phew. guys, they played it last night. And they lost by, it was like tied for their biggest loss of the year. So had a I had a conversation with the Kings people that like they I don't think they're going to do that anymore just out of superstition <laughs> like every single time they've played we want the funk they've had their biggest loss of the year factually true we follow superstitions here in Sacramento so last night's loss is because of Allen Styles and Chris Watkins I I don't see why that's not logical 
I'm actually very glad they did that. Yeah. Is that a, that's not a sing along though, is it? That's just a feel good. It can be. Can be. Like, I mean, if it'd have to be a little bit like Sabonis, sometimes they fire it and then, you know, there's plays going. Yeah, yeah. But like if it's he does the play and they go to timeout, it just, yeah. you can keep going. So if Monk had one of those highlights, timeout Dallas, and that song's playing, and then everyone's like, I'd, I'd like to see want the Monk. monk. Gotta have that, that monk. monk. I think Ow. that would need a little bit more help. That would. It might. That would too. Definitely need. Basically, we're trying to turn Gold One into a karaoke bar. Yes, dance party. We gotta have. We gotta have the line. We gotta have the bounce. Now we have to come up with a song and then get a player to fit that song. Oh my! To acquire. Oh my God! That would be amazing. I'm sorry. I'm just you going were thinking. Through. I'm a hundred percent going through the uh, going through the rosters. Yeah, yeah. I'm for that though. Let's talk to Monty. Yeah, Monty <laughs> would. Would he need a song? Monty McNair. Yeah. Yeah. But what What the hell would his song be? I don't know. Um, yeah. Maybe give me some time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. It sucked. Um, but I will say this: uh, bright side or not. I, I they had kind of the great value halftime show going. Uh, okay. Not the normal, you know, Ernie and Kenny and all that, but it was. Uh, I was on True TV, so I'm watching uh, uh, Shaq and uh, was it Candace? It was Shaq. Uh, was Jared Greenberg? I, th- I don't know who the hell. Or it was. Adam Lefko, maybe. Yeah, him too. <laughs> uh, they had a co- and at halftime, Shaq was breaking down Demontis Sabonis tape. If you didn't hear it. This is what it sounded like. Luca, since the All-Star break, is first in the NBA in points, first in the NBA assists, first in the NBA in triple doubles. There's no questioning that this man is bad. The other guy that's going for a triple double, who's been a triple double machine this year, Sabonis. <clears throat> Would you like to gather us through his highlights? Yes. Uh, I like to call him Mr. Everything because the guy can do everything. Right here, just a you know, consummate team player. Right here, ball swing. Ball second. What? Didn't Shaq, was it Shaq that, didn't Shaq do the lasagna thing? Was that Shaq a couple years? Wasn't that a thing? Lithuanian lasagna? Yes. Yeah, some, some, wasn't that Shaq? I can't remember. Okay. Chris, you don't remember either? Lithuanian lasagna? Somebody out there help me out. I swear that was Shaq. And now he's got, now he's moved on to Mr. Everything. He's wrong. He demands the ball, gets it. I would have liked him to take one, two dribbles to take this jump hook right here, but nope. Guy open for a better shot. Makes a great pass. And right here, listen. Come off. Set a nice screen. I talked to a lot of guys. They say he's probably one of the strongest guys in the league. Right there, you set a nice screen. You get that little pocket pass for the jumper. Around. Oh, but most definitely not. And right here, he goes up strong. <laughs> Nine, eight, and six. Uh, he definitely will get the triple-double tonight. But, you know, he's a guy that does everything. And he does. And he's definitely in the big man of lights. Okay. Wow. Uh, is that who's, a new who's, entry? who's all in there? Huh? Who is in Who the is Big in? Man Alliance? I will let you know. Embiid, Jokic, Sabonis. Yep. yep. Those three. We'll let more. So okay. Hey, welcome to the club. Hey, I'm not the clothing guy or nothing, but can, that should be a shirt. Big we Man Alliance. Big Man Alliance. Yeah. The BMA. Hmm. That's great. The big. He's in the Big Man Alliance. Jason, it's got to mean something. Uh, let me see here. I know we got a break. That's great. I think I got this here. The big, he's in the Big Man Alliance. He's in the Big Jason. Man. It's got to mean something. Oh, uh, let me see here. I know. Sorry, Chris. I thought that was you. I did not mute my stuff, or I did. Here we go. Nope, because I muted it. Hold on. Hey guys, I'm doing great at this, even though we have to break. Unmute and play the thing that doesn't make sense now. Uh, at halftime, you know, Char- uh, Shaq talked about barbecue chicken. He said, for you, it's Lithuanian lasagna. Yeah, yeah I guess it is Lithuanian lasagna. We got to make it a thing now. Narrator. It did not become a thing. And now apparently he checks notes. Yeah. He's, One and done. Didn't happen. Yeah. And now apparently he's Mr. Everything. Oh. He's Mr. Air. He's Lithuanian li- Big Man uh, and a part of the Big Man Alliance. And a part of Big Man Alliance. It's Mr. Everything, the Lithuanian lasagna, Demontis Sabonis. Demontis. There you go. He's got yeah. like a whole boxing intro now. Uh, when we come back, and here's your sports potpourri. We'll go around uh, different things, uh, including uh, some news on Coach Cal in Kentucky. Uh, Tyron Liu, uh lays it out for his Clippers. And uh, uh, as I wrote here earlier, apparently, Jimmit. To head up the USA 3x3 team. Who's Jimmett? Uh, we'll tell you about that next. The NFL's leading rusher plays here. The handoff to McCaffrey walks in the end zone. Handoff to McCaffrey takes it right out of the goal line. 
He does his thing again. McCaffrey goes in motion right. Backwards pass led by Juszczyk. A block there. Hurdles the man. 10, 5, touchdown. C. You can hear all of Christian McCaffrey's touchdowns on your home for 49ers football. Sacktown Sports. What's up? We're talking to Chad Hoblin of Hoblet Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Ram, and Woodland. What's going on for Ram Truck Month, Chad? Well, we're celebrating with the biggest savings of the year on new 2024 Ram 1500 Laramie Limited. I can barely believe it, but right now you can save up to 16000 off MSRP on one of America's most loved trucks. Did you say sixteen grand off MSRP? Yep. And we have California's biggest selection of new Ram trucks with over 500 available. Big savings and big selection. That's what's made us California's number one Ram truck dealer. Hey, if you're looking for a truck, Hoblet should be your first and only stop to get the truck you need at the price you want. See their full selection at HobletDodge.com. Unbeatable prices, unbeatable selection. Nobody beats Hoblet, period. 16,000 12 net savings on select new 2024 Ram Laramie Limiteds after 1086 factory rebates and 6,000 dealer discounts. Rebates include 1,000 case construction cash, must have purchased eligible case equipment from authorized case dealer, and 500 first responder cash for current members of eligible first responder association. Sample VIN 203 287. See dealer for details. Tired of hearing scary radio ads about the IRS? Tax Relief Advocates is different. TRA is here to tell you that if you owe money to the IRS, whether it's $5,000 or $500,000, we have a solution. TRA can eliminate or reduce what you owe to the IRS with zero risk to you. If we can't reduce your tax debt, then you pay nothing. We have a five-star rating on Google and Yelp and an A-plus with a BBB. End your tax nightmare today by visiting TRA.com or call 800-583-6580. That's 800-583-6580. Ulta Beauty semi-annual beauty event is happening now. Unleash your love for beauty with 50% off daily beauty steals on hair, skin, makeup, and fragrance. Shop your favorite brands like Tarte and Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Plus, grab perfect hair care pairs from brands like Redken and Olaplex. And check out new arrivals from brands like Charlotte Tilbury and Dyson. Shop the Ulta Beauty semi-annual beauty event online, in-store, or try pickup today. Now through March 28th. Ulta Beauty. The possibilities are beautiful. Conditions apply. Meet Cheryl. Hey. She's on vacation and lost in the moment. Unfortunately, so is her Chase debit card. It's got to be somewhere. Maybe she lost it at Salsa Night. These skirts should have pockets. Or maybe she lost it at Pilates. Three and two and But she's not worried. With the Chase mobile app, she can lock her card till it turns up. Tools that help protect. One bank that puts you in control. Visit chase.com slash checking. Chase, make more of what's yours. Chase mobile app is available for select mobile devices. Message and data reads may apply. J.P. Morgan Chase Bank, N.A. member FDIC. At Progressive, we know how much you love your recreational vehicles, so we decided to record this commercial in an RV. With a family on vacation. Mom, who are these people? Oh, that's Flo and Jamie. They're recording a commercial, sweetie. Don't they do that in the studio? Uh, normally. No. But we wanted to feature a family who bundled their home and RV and saved with Progressive. Um, yeah, it looks like you're all out of chips. Okay, I think we'll just drop you off at the next gas station. Bundle your home and other vehicles with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Not available in all states or situations. For a precision-crafted performance, the decision is easy. A new Acura from Acura of Stockton. Get the driving experience you've been waiting for in a new Acura. Get the best selection and customer service you deserve from Acura of Stockton. Shop in person or use our online express store at acuraofstockton.com. Acura of Stockton will buy your trade, even if you don't buy from us. Don't settle for less than precision-crafted performance of a new Acura from Acura of Stockton and acuraofstockton.com. Beach Head Deli on 7-Eleven K Street is now your place to go in downtown Sacramento prior to all the games, concerts, and events. Conveniently located just across the street from the arena, Beach Head Deli features the finest gourmet sandwiches and craft beverages anywhere. Beach Head Deli at 7-Eleven K Street is also your premier lunch destination seven days a week. Come by and say hi to new owner Brad Wakai. He's so excited to take care of all your taste bud needs. That's Beach Head Deli at 7-Eleven K Street in Sacramento. Waking you up with the best in local sports. They just make it interesting, you know. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on Sacktown Sports. Uh, before we get started, I want to step on the third rail here and have a have a have a quick heart to heart with some with a couple of Kings fans. Now we are all family, and uh, you know, 
we all want the same thing. So let's just keep that in mind here based on what I'm about to say. But I got to say this, man. You know, losses suck, period. One of the extra things that sucks about a loss is often, you know, in the post-game conversation, wherever you may converse, you know, there's a lot of backbiting on everyone, you know, and this and that. And, you know, you say something like, oh, five and seven, that's tough, you know. Ah, excuses. You're soft. It's like the team, you know, they're, they're, people need an outlet, and I understand that. You know, it's not our first rodeo here. People need an outlet. They need to, they need to yell at somebody. They need to be angry. I, I, I had to call out a couple people last night on social media because here's my thing. I, I, if you're watching every game and you're commenting and whatever, that's awesome. Even if you're not watching every game, whatever. Not everybody has to be a super fan. But what bothers me is I, I've started to recognize, and I have for a while, and I just kind of called it out last night. Like There is a group of fans, a very small group, but enough to bother me. They only show up after losses. And the, 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 as a guy who is known for being incredibly emotional and over the top, like they're emotional and over the top if there ever was anything. And so what I did is, like last night, for example, there was one guy who is after every loss, like Monty's got to go, Mike Brown's got to go, this is just terrible, we're nothing but a play-in team, we're one and done, this is the worst, my day, my day is ruined, that type of thing. Like, I'm not exaggerating. And then I went back in his tweets, not a single Kings tweet after Philly, not a single Kings tweet after Orlando. Want to take a guess? Is the last time you tweeted about the Kings? Oh, uh, the last loss? That'd be the Wizards. Yeah. And then probably the two games prior to that. The I loss. didn't go back that far, but yeah. you're probably right. And I saw that with another dude, and it was the same thing. Now, over the course of five tweets after the Philly game, I noticed he was flirting with online OnlyFans models but not a single tweet about the Kings who won. But then last night yeah, sucks. It's terrible. Vex, stupid, whatever. And I see a little bit of that on our, our text line and in our chat sometimes too. Look, you want a fan, however you want a fan that no one I've, I've always said, don't be a gatekeeper. Right. And I guess I'm kind of gatekeeping right now. I'm not going to say that's not a real fan. I'm not going to say it because that's, that's garbage. Of course you're a real fan. But I, I, I just, as a guy who off, more often than not leans on the pessimistic side, I get it. But, like, dude, if you're only popping up after losses to scream bloody murder and then after the wins, it's like, well, okay, I feel like I don't need to say anything. Well, what are we doing here? Yeah, th- there's, there's some nuance or tricks to this. So when we do this every day, and you also kind of do it for the season-long themes mm-hmm. as well as the every day, Yesterday, in the last couple of days, we've talked a lot about improved defense. Yes. I saw a lot of that or saw some like, oh, I thought the defense was better. Well, it wasn't last night. It wasn't last night. But over the 14 games, it has been. Yes. So last night's part of that. Right. That was the worst version of it. Right. But when you sco- you know scan out, it has been better. So if we're just looking at last night, that's the, one of the worst defensive teams in the league. Yeah. We're not just looking at last night. No, we're not. But last night was terrible. It would be the inverse of if we had, like, for example, crappy defense all year, and then one game we hold a team yeah, under 100 points. It's like, oh, I thought our defense was bad. Yeah. We're, we're like sitting at 28th, but we held one team. Yeah. It's like, come on, man. Or lately, honestly, for 15 games, the free throws has been bad. Yes. There might be a game here coming up where they lost. Free throws have killed them all year. Well, mm. it a, a portion, I'm not denying it, but, and but, maybe this specific game. Right. So, yeah, you get a lot of, you know, jumping to conclusions on a lot of things. What was the other thing, too, uh, to your point? Oh, God, it was, oh, yeah, when I mentioned the five out of seven and Uh somebody responded, yeah, but you know what? That doesn't explain Charlotte or Detroit at home or that. It's just excuses. I'm like, those aren't the same. Those weren't five and seven. right? Of course that doesn't excuse all that other. I'm talking about tonight. I'm not saying it's an excuse. I'm saying it could be a contributing factor. Can it be a reason? And the whole point is, I'm not saying last night's loss is okay, guys. It's okay that they got blown out. They played five and seven. Me. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is we'll find out on Friday more than anything if that was really a factor. However, fatigue can set in in certain situations, and if you're looking for reasons as to why they got 
destroyed by Dallas, yeah. a team they're two and zero against so far this year. Granted, diff- different couple of different players. This could, when you're trying to analyze, this could be part of the analysis. It's okay. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't mean you're waving the white flag and saying excuses and and we love you guys no right. matter what. It means okay, let's break down things that could be control. Oh, that's one. Yeah, it will not be a reference point Friday. No, it will 100. They come out and they lose Friday. Okay, well, Dallas is a better team. Yeah, maybe this version of Dallas is better than the Kings. Yeah, yeah maybe, and and you just you just blew a huge chance. Yep. Uh, we'll take a break. Uh, sorry, I think it's Coach Cal stuff. Uh, I got all this. We'll get to that in a, in a bit. Plus, the uh, NFL rule change is coming up next. We're right back in your home of the Kings, Southtown Sports. You never know what you might hear when listening to a Sacramento Kings game. Out of Keegan, going for another triple. Man, is he feeling it. Keegan, can he do it? Yes, there's number 11, Keegan Murray. Keegan steps back. He just knocked down his 12th three-pointer, a Kings franchise record. He's got 45 points. Never miss a moment of Sacramento Kings basketball with Sacktown Sports and the Sacktown Sports app. At L.L. Floyd, we've been a trusted partner to pros for over 30 years. With over 400 nationwide warehouses full of in-stock, job-ready inventory, you'll get what you need. And our exclusive pro pricing means that pros never pay retail. Because at L.L. Floyd, all we do is floors. So we're going to do it right. Sign up for a free pro account today to start getting pro benefits. At Charmin, we heard you shouldn't talk about going to the bathroom in public. So we decided to sing about it. When you roll a Charmin, don't you stop on the party. Let's just go so roll it back, everybody. Sherman Ultra Soft is irresistibly soft and more absorbent, so you can use less. Enjoy the go with Sherman. Everyday Cintas service reps help businesses get ready for the workday. They provide freshly laundered workwear delivered every week. Mats, mops, restroom and cleaning supplies. First aid and safety products to help your employees stay safe. They even test and inspect fire extinguishers and emergency lights. Cintas helps keep your business running smoothly. See what Cintas can do for you. Visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. Discover your dream home at Subcontractors United, your source for all home improvement needs. A talented team of home services experts is ready to make your projects a breeze. No more endless internet searches. Find your contractors in one place. Enjoy stress-free service absolutely free with no hidden costs and no account to set up. Transform your living space into something extraordinary. Visit Subcontractors United today and experience the joy of hassle-free home improvement. Dream big at subcontractorsunited.com. I lock up my Old Spice Fiji Aluminum Free Dry Spray to keep that 24-7 lasting freshness safe for myself. Fresh coconuts, palm trees in the wind. It's like catching waves in Fiji. Actually, I just talked myself into a refreshing spritz of Fiji. My Old Spice is missing! No! Get in zone, AutoZone. Welcome to AutoZone. What are you working on today? I need new oil for my truck. Really? I need a new truck. Mobile One is giving away a 2024 Chevy Colorado ZR2. When you pick up five quarts of Mobile One full synthetic with an STP extended life oil filter for $35.99, you're entered for a chance to win. Oh. Other prizes include a year's supply of Mobile One or a $100 gift card. Never been so excited for an oil change. Get in zone, AutoZone. No purchase necessary. Terms at AutoZone.com. Ends 52724 24 The Amish have a reputation for craftsmanship, determination, and quality. Hi, this is Frank LaRosa with a word about Naturewood Home Furnishings. You know, those virtues sound quite similar to the Keys family and the day-to-day values on display at Naturewood. The Amish furniture craftsmanship begins with the finest hardwood, shaping and molding the raw materials into one-of-a-kind art. In addition to the classic styles long sought and revered by discriminating furniture lovers, Naturewood Home Furnishings offers a vast selection that includes transitional, modern, farmhouse, arts and crafts, and other stunning styles all available in the ultimate Amish standard of excellence built over centuries. All Naturewood Amish furniture is on sale right now for a limited time. Let the Naturewood team guide you through their selection of Amish furniture 
that will be with you forever. Naturewood Home Furnishings off Highway 50 at Hazel. Look for the water wheel. Golf to Go is brought to you by the Hagen Oaks Golf Super Shop. Here's Frank LaRosa. Tim Walsh, Director of Sales for Bridgestone Golf, was excited to talk about the new line of Tour B golf balls. Bridgestone has been making golf balls since 1935, and their philosophy was to serve society with superior quality. All these years later, quality is not in question. While we as players tend to settle on a ball that will increase our distance or one that will enhance feel. The Tour B line of golf balls delivers both distance and feel through their new reactive smart cover and mid-layer. PGA Tour player Jason Day assisted on the development of Mindset, which is a visual cue on the golf ball to remind you of a three-step process. First is to identify your target, then visualize the shot path, and then focus on the dot, which helps to clear your mind and execute the shot you visualized. Mindset is available on the full line of Bridgestone Tour B golf balls. To learn more, visit BridgestoneGolf.com. That's your golf to go. I'm Frank LaRosa. Only one radio program captures the excitement of hunting and fishing as it happens. The award-winning California Sportsman with Sepp Hendrickson. Only California Sportsman takes you where the action is. Live on the water, live in the blind, and live with the top pros and experts in outdoor sports. California Sportsman with Fishing Hall of Famer Sepp Hendrickson is your premier destination for all things outdoors. Sepp Saturday Morning Outdoors. Ultimate Bass and California Sportsman. 5 a.m. to 8 a.m. Saturdays on Sacktown Sports 1140. KHTKAM HD1 Sacramento, KYMX HD2 Sacramento. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios. This, this, this is Sacktown Sports. The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone. And then boom. With Jason Ross. No, he did it. Yes, he did. Call or text at 916-339-1140. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on Sacktown Sports. All right, welcome back. God dang, that hour flew by. Sure did. Woof, woof, and a meow. Carmichael Dave, Jason Ross. Chris for a lot behind the glass all the way till 10 a.m. And uh, Styles and Watkins to take the torch and try to make sense of all this. A uh, quick adequate question. Adequate? Etiquette question for you guys. So I've told this, uh, you guys know this, uh, our, our GM, his office downstairs, he has a uh, gumball machine that's filled with peanut M&Ms. Almost every day I go downstairs, I'm hungry, I take a couple handfuls of peanut M&Ms, you know, I eat them. I'm big on, you know, self-accountability. So about, I don't know, three, four months ago, I was at Sam's Club, speaking of, uh, bought one of them big industrial things of peanut M&Ms and, and gave it to him and said, Hey, this is for all the M&Ms. I've, I've eaten that many M&Ms out of the, the, the machine. Um, and I don't know if that's a station expense. He buys them himself. Probably not. Somebody else does whatever I feel, you know? So anyways, a few months have passed by. I eat all, you know, I keep eating M&Ms. So when, every time I go to Sam's club, every other time I, I try to grab a refill for it, store them there. Well, I got them on Saturday and then, or on Friday. And then Saturday night, we're playing spades at my house with some friends. And I was like, oh, God, I have a sweet tooth. There's nothing. Here's these peanut M&Ms. All right, I'll just, I'll have a couple, right? Well, I have them in my car right now. In fact, I'll bring them up at the next break. I would say they're two-thirds full. Hmm. Like, it's still two-thirds full. So it doesn't look like Kyle went through them. No, no. I The jar, the, 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 the whatever you want to call it, the bucket is two-thirds full of peanut M&Ms. Here's my etiquette question. We'll move on. Is it still okay to give them to and just say, I got hungry and I already grabbed a couple. I, I grabbed an advanced copy, but here's a significant amount of, of M&Ms to refill. Or... You missed the boat. I did. Mm -hmm. My hand's I, already been in there. Yeah, I'm going the complete opposite. I don't think he'll notice. Oh, he'll notice. Really? <laughs> I, I mean, well, well let it. me see him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll bring him in. You guys make the call. Yeah. Flip it. Chris and I have been needing your M&Ms or whatever. Same idea. And then we bring you a two thirds. I would like, make fun of the two thirds. Right. Thing, but I would also appreciate that. Would you eat them? Probably. Would I personally yeah. eat them? No, so there's your answer. I would not eat them. But I'm the only, but the only people that eat, he doesn't eat them. The only people that eat them are me and other coworkers. And I don't care if they're eating, they're not, they're not going to know where my boogery hands have been. Have you ever had the peanut M&Ms, Jason? 
Yeah. Yeah. I oh, his from his yeah. office? No. Yeah. I no? Uh -uh. It's you know where it is, right? It's yeah. right there by the stereo. Yeah. You've never gone in and just no. hey, how are you doing? No. Oh, come on, guys. Let's do that after the show. All of us. <laughs> Let's just all take a walk down there. I'll present the peanut M&Ms. We'll all get some peanut M&Ms and say hello. That doesn't sound fun. That does not sound appealing to you? Okay. I've well, been in that office enough. I'll bring <laughs> I got a. I had a. I, I once had a very interesting conversation in that very office. Just once with you. Well, I had two. Yeah, I had that. No, I, there's that one. Yeah. But then there's the one in 2012 I had. Oh, yeah. But you know the one I had with you. Yeah. That oh, that was. Oof. Uh, hey Gary at one eight hundred nine two zero eleven forty. Welcome in. Good morning, Gary. Hey, how you guys doing? We're, we're doing as good as yeah, we right. can after getting blown out last night. How are you? All right. Right. I'm thinking the same thing, man. Um, just wanted to talk about on a couple of things. Um, I, I believe like when Mike Brown first came in, um, I remember calling the timeouts real quick if we went down about a couple points. And last night it was a four point game before we got blown out. And I believe the changes should have been made way earlier than they were, you know? You, you think he what changes by the way? Uh, like like yeah like uh, like roster like the, be yeah. like the bench guys i i believe you know we always bring, uh, bring up uh malik monk we always bring mitchell but uh with the dallas mavericks we're having trouble on the glass you know we can't expect domas to do everything he can't dribble the ball he can't pass the ball rebound it too how about bringing in a guy like javel mcgee you know bringing in fresh energy he's just sitting there icing his knees why not bring him in at the six minute mark or even ahead we made some changes at the second minute mark in the third quarter that's way too late we've I, already I, gotten blown out so gary i don't look i don't i've thought about the same thing you're you're not you're not there's no way you're wrong let me, let me just talk it through with you let, let's go back to the the timeouts so i i thought yeah. about that a lot we've talked about that on the show like where the he's done it a few times but last year it was like you know, you give up two points, and he didn't like the defensive yeah. scheme. Timeout, and I, I do wonder. And I'm giving Mike credit here. We're talking about the coach of the year. I'm giving him credit here, but I wonder if last year was like this is my first year with mm -hmm. the team. I don't know you guys. You're gonna have a very very short leash now. I'm trying to build you into into a contender, and I'm gonna develop a little bit little bit more of a Phil Jackson, Steve Kerr type narrative where. There's times where I want you to figure it out on your own, and I'm not going to bail you out with the timeout. It might hurt us in the interim, but hopefully in the long run, it helps you down the road. Uh, Gary, I'm not saying I'm right. I'm saying that's a possible explanation. Let me go on to your next thing. Let's say he does make those. Uh, that You said uh, down three, down five. Let's say he does bring in JaVale, uh, Davion, you know, Slauson, whatever. Let's say he makes those changes yeah. you make, right? But here's the thing what they're on the bench because they're not as good as the starters. That being said, maybe they bring something different, a different look. I know where you're going, yeah. but, no. but, 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 but what if, but what if he does that? What if he does that? And then we're t in here today talking about a 34 point loss. Is there no part of you or not you, but maybe another fan that might be calling in saying, dude, we're only down five. And this guy puts in freaking JaVale McGee and Jalen Sloss and do like, what are you doing? You got to ride with your guys. So you're kind of screwed either way, right? Yeah. That's no, a, I mean, yeah. I, I, I agree with you to an extent, but I, I just think, you know, just like, because Malik's an energy guy, you know, we need yeah. like maybe a big, uh, a big who's like, I'm, Alex Len does a pretty good job. I'm just saying, you know, on maybe back to back nights, we could play, play Javel, you know, that might help us a little bit. Uh, I know Slauson's a rookie, but, um, I just think we needed a, a little bit more energy off the bench last night. You I, know? Yeah, I, Gary, I don't disagree with you on that. We need a lot more energy everywhere, everywhere, regardless. Uh, good call. Thank you. 1-800-912-1140. You can also uh, text us at 916-339-1140. Uh, Coach Cal apparently will be staying at Kentucky. Uh, so not surprised. Not su you're not surprised. No, I, I Heard rumblings from Kentucky people that uh, they might be buying him out, but it sounds like that ain't the case. So, your random stat, you got it. Same One for me. me. Absolutely. Uh, random. Secondly, uh, Jimmer Fredette, uh, we had him on the show talking about it. Yeah. Uh, he will now head up with uh, two other people that you don't know, the uh, three-on-three tournament, uh, America's team. So, uh, hopefully, we'll be talking about gold medal winning. That would be really cool I, for that for him and for USA. 
I want nothing but amazing things for him and yeah. Whitney and that whole family. So uh, we'll, we'll all be real behind. I will watch that. I will watch that intently and yeah. root my tushy off for uh, Jimmer and the, and, and the folks. Uh, Tyron Lou yesterday, by the way. Um, you know, Clippers have been. Uh, they're scuffling. They're lately. scuffling. Uh, they were in first place in the West in early February, and uh, they are now struggling to 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 try to even get home court advantage. They're in fourth place, uh, or they were in fourth place. New Orleans caught them. Uh, <clears throat> James Harden said, "We got to find our identity." It's a little frustrating. Uh, it's, we're trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Uh, Tyron Lou said, uh, "The identity for us has got to be toughness." which means uh, physicality, mental and physical toughness, and a high-powered offense. Right now, do we have an identity? Yeah. We're soft. Mm. Hey, look, again, different coaches, different teams, different rosters, different personnels, but you know, we, we were talking about Rick Carlisle and what he said to the Pacers a couple weeks ago when he called them out. I, I'm not going to lie. There's Again, Mike Brown's got his own style. He yeah. does what he's doing, but <laughs> I'm not going to lie. There's a couple of games this year where I would love to have heard that out of our coach's mouth. but. Again, Tyron Lewis dealing with a different team, different vets. Uh, interesting, though, sometimes that uh, works. Sometimes that backfires on you. Right, exactly. I mean, that that can lose the locker room. That can galvanize the locker That's room. That's right. It just depends. Hopefully, coaches know their teams and know what they need. No offense to Ty. I hope he loses the locker room just because I want <laughs> he to lose. lose. So, he so lo he, Tyron loses the locker room. The NFL owners yesterday approved a massive revamp of the kickoff play uh they're going after the xfl style pretty much 29 to 3 uh the raiders and niners by the way two of the three teams have voted against it new orleans saints special teams coordinator darren ritz he said hey we feel this is a great day for the nfl we've taken a play that's essentially been dying and we revived it now what is this the new alignment rules represent the most significant on-field rule change for the nfl in years and they're trying to reverse more than a decade of declining return rates, but also lowering concussion rates. The format will move the majority of the kicking and return teams downfield to minimize high-speed collisions. It will go into effect for just one year, and then they will re-vote. During this next season, kickers will continue to kick from the 35-yard line. But the other 10 players on the kickoff team will line up at the receiving team's 40-yard line. So think about this. Kicker at his own 35. Kicker's line, basically, is going to be across the 50, lined up at the 40. So it'll look a little, little, little funky. At least nine members of the return team will line up in what they're calling a setup zone between the 35 and 30-yard line. So you'll have the kicking line at the 40 and then you'll have the the receiving line if you will the defensive line whatever you want to call it uh at the uh 35 or 30 so either five or ten yards apart again it's gonna look weird up to two returners can line up in a landing zone <clears throat> between the goal line and the 20 yard line <clears throat> excuse me sorry Wow. I'm getting choked up about yeah. that. Mm, gross. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Anyways, no one other than the kicker and returner can move until the ball hits the ground or hits a player in the landing zone. Now, generally, it, they're going to start moving when the, the player catches the ball. Thing. And generally, the player is going to catch the ball in the end zone. But the thing is, is that when he catches the ball in the end zone, from what I understand it, once he catches the ball, correct me if I'm wrong, Jason, the way I'm thinking about this, I'm receiving. Mm -hmm. I catch the ball three yards in the end zone. The closest tacklers to me are on my 40-yard line. Correct. Halfway between me and a fair catch 20-yard line. And now I have to make the decision. It's a race to the 20 to at least break even, or is it worth me moving on? In the event a team wants to attempt an onside kick, it will have to inform officials of its intent. And then the NFL's traditional formation would be used. No more surprise onside kick, Sean Payton. I don't like that. 
I don't like that call. Not a very good call, but I understand with this new format, you kind of have to do that. But yeah, I, yeah. But I don't like that. Yeah. Uh, not in love with the rule, but I, in fairness, I want to see it. I got to see it. I, there, was a, there was one that I remember going, what are we doing? Why the, I, and I would admit I was wrong when they moved the extra point back. I'm like, dumb. This isn't going to matter. They missed a lot of it. They miss extra points. It has been a factor. It has been more interesting. Let's say it's not automatic. So that's been a rule that's that I think has been effective. I I don't personally feel like I'm missing out on less returns personally. Here's my question. It's just kind of a scientific question. I'm not I'm not mm -hmm. th that smart when it comes to this. When you watch the draft combine and you watch the 40 times, would you you know they get they come off from the blocks. Would you say that they're at full speed somewhere? Would it be fair to say somewhere around the 15th yard of that 40-yard dash? Probably. So if the returner's in the end zone and the team trying to tackle the returner is lining up at the returner's 40, even if the returner is at the goal line and it's a race to the 20, that's the halfway point, let's say the returner's probably faster. Isn't it safe to say that most of these people are going to be at full speed by the time they make contact anyways? I think the returners are. I think what's not is the, the well, other right. 10, but my, my, 20. But, but that's my question, though. If you're lined up at the 40 and you're meeting this returner at the 20 or 25, that's 15 to 20 yards you've had to get to full speed. But I don't know that you're going to you're get down blockers. there. Yeah, you've got the block. Like, it's not going to be me sprinting because I here's Dave returning. I'm sprinting. Chris is going to be in my way. And before I get to full speed, he's he's already blocking me or getting me off my stride, yeah. pushing me one way or the other. But at some point, the guy going full speed with the ball is going to be hit by somebody. That's what I'm saying. And I, I guess I'm not giving enough credit to the blockers where there's always going to be one or two guys that squirts through full yeah. speed. Maybe not. I, it'll be very interesting to see if this – yeah, it's it could, be a, could be a one and done. Could be something that's really good for football. I don't know. I don't know the answer. We'll take a very quick one minute break. When we come back, three for madness. Brought to you by Fire Wings. Uh, we'll look at some more Kings patterns here. Uh, do you buy that the schedule factored into last night? And uh, will Odie's? Do they uh, enter the conversation here? We'll do that next. The only place you'll find Kevin Herter is Sacktown Sports. Herter's open, steps into three. He's got the triple. Hey, Sacramento, it's Kevin Herter, and you're listening to the home of the Sacramento Kings, Sacktown Sports. Your local sports leader. Jiffy Lube has a special promotion going on right now. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum full synthetic oil change at Jiffy Lube and receive a $25 e-gift card from popular brands for food, gas, and more. It's that easy. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum Full Synthetic Oil Change and receive a $25 e-gift card. So basically, going to Jiffy Lube can get you a free lunch or a pizza for dinner. That's what we call added value for the consumer. That's why Jiffy Lube is number one in the greater Sacramento area for oil changes. Visit JiffyLube.com for more details and valuable coupons today. Dirty Heads. Live in concert. Every single day. Friday, April 12th, 7.30 p.m. The venue at Thunder Valley. The special guest, The Elevators. On sale at ThunderValleyResort.com. Don't miss Dirty Heads Live. Rescue me. Three questions, three answers. It's three for madness on the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Here's question one. Katie will join us at nine. We'll go around the NBA next, look at the standings. And at 743, guys. At 743, I purposely left that blank. Kind of want to see where the show goes. I've got a backup topic just in case. I think we'll do better. My backup topic is completely off, off the rails. The greatest name in music you don't know. That's not sports, though. So we'll see if we can't find a better topic for 743, which, Jason, the numbers say that's prime time. It is prime that's time. That's a lot of people are listening. Yeah. I don't want to talk music in prime right. time. This is going to turn people off. You know, we know you love your music, but right. if you want sports. Uh, in the meantime, though, as we do every day at 713, brought to you by Fire Wings or 718, uh, it's three for madness. Chris Verlod, question. Un. The Kings have now won two in a row, followed by a loss. 
four consecutive times. Will there be a fifth? Okay, so this is a little interesting quirk that's going on right now. You may have heard about it. But going all the way back, all the way back to the Lakers in March 6th. We talked about this yesterday. Uh, they beat L.A., they beat San Antonio, they lost to Houston. They beat Milwaukee, they beat the Lakers again, they lost to New York. They beat Memphis in OT, beat Toronto on the road, lost to Washington. Then they beat Orlando on the road, beat Philly, lost to Dallas. Now, their next three games, Jason, are all at home before they go on their uh, final road trip of the year. Well, regular season. They've got Dallas on Friday, Utah on Sunday, Clippers on Tuesday. The question is, will there be a fifth win-win loss? I'm going to say there will be. Yeah, there's a real good possibility. I think it actually fits really yeah. well, and I'd be fine with that. Yeah. I'd Especially be fine because the, the most important one would be Friday. That's getting the win against correct. Dallas. I yeah. mean, the swing yeah. right there is so clear. You're either down two with nine games to go. What happens to the tiebreaker, by the way? It some. goes to the second level, which is conference. And right now the Kings have it by a half game. But obviously Dallas would then go ahead of that with the win on That's Friday. That's right. So um, wow. let's just basically call that three almost with nine You're to right. go. So right. I, I feel like nothing's guaranteed, but there's a real good chance they're a playing team if they lose on Friday. Right. Friday. Yeah. We, we, we make it a bit, but in reality, it's not even close. Friday is the biggest game of the year. Yes. Not even close. To date, for sure. Friday is, in effect, an early play. I mean, we said this about last night, yeah. too, but Friday is a playoff game. Right. Now, you win, you're tied, you have uh -huh. nine to go, you have the tiebreaker, so you're equivalent to one ahead. Right. I would say the Kings have a more difficult schedule than Dallas, but Dallas has some tough games. They have two with the Warriors, two with the Rockets. Uh, but other than that, it's it's I would say easier than the Kings, but that's that's the game Friday. Uh, two with the Warriors, two with the Rockets, who are in a dogfight right now yes. for the final play-in spot. Uh, the Kings, by the way, after last night, they're still at number three behind Phoenix and Charlotte, uh, third toughest schedule remaining. Uh, scroll, scroll, scroll. The twenty-third mm. most difficult schedule remaining uh the dallas mavericks as you said okc the kings the heat two against the warriors two against the rockets they still have a pistons hornets and hawks let me tell you something this is misleading i'm going to call out these numbers here because the site that we look at for remaining schedule they go on winning percentage you take all the teams remaining right. add up their wins and losses this is misleading dallas's schedule is actually a lot harder i'll tell you why because they still have the Hornets and the Pistons who are terrible. That's artificially bringing down that winning percentage. Mm -hmm. A loss is a loss. It doesn't right. matter if you're playing the Pistons or you're playing the Jazz. A loss is a loss. And so here, they actually, with all their games left, they've got four, five, six. They have seven of their remaining 10 games against either playoff teams or, in the Rockets' case, one of the hottest teams in the NBA. Twice. Seven, twice, yeah. thank you. Uh, they have three games against bad teams. As a matter of fact, Jason, with Sacramento playing Portland, the Nets, and the Jazz remaining, and then one each, Boston, OKC, the Clippers, the Pelicans, the Knicks, and the Mavs, I would actually argue that Dallas's schedule is every okay. bit as tough remaining. I, I think this is a numbers error we need yeah. to call out. They have a tough – they're – I think it's neck and neck on that yeah. schedule. Okay. Team. Number two, please. Question two. Do you buy the schedule being a factor last night? Do I buy the schedule being a factor last night? Uh, a factor. Yes. Yes, I do. I, I, I buy that the schedule very well could have been a factor. Five and seven. International trip. I mean, come on, it's Canada, but it's only went to France, but still. You got to go. And people need to understand when we say international trip, I understand that Toronto, I think Toronto is actually a shorter flight than New York, if I remember correctly. It's actually closer to us. But you also have the, they still have to go through the whole customs thing. A lot of times there's a long delay getting in, a longer delay getting out. Um, they had a back to back in, in, in DC, which they lost. Like people underestimate that. And I think it's easy to do that because it's like, well, they're on these private planes and they stay in five-star hotels and mm -hmm. they get like $300 a day in per diem and they're eating five-star food. All of that's correct. And nobody's like, Oh, poor English, but it's also your body and it's time zones and it's your circadian rhythm. And it's your 
you're doing these massive athletic performances and these bodies are Ferraris that are tuned very specifically. And when you're bouncing around like that and your sleep is thrown off and your schedule is thrown off, guess what it does? I'm sorry. It, it factors. I don't think it's the entire reason, but I think it's okay to say one of the things that led to them getting absolutely destroyed last night is five games in seven nights. Yeah, that's it. Exactly. A factor spirit of the question. Yes. Factor. Yeah. I would say yes. Uh, similar to an actual stat in the game, if they had 25 turnovers, factor, not the reason, not, the not reason. but a reason, a factor. Yes, I would say so. And I do think it parallels the people, like, yeah, I know you said you would give grief to Katie saying, you know, she's going to come on and say five games and seven nights. If she's tired, if Draper's tired, Mark Jones, G-Man, the people that are, like, yeah. it's a lot. I know they're not playing, but they're living the same schedule. And I got the sense that they were all like, man, it's just been a lot of games then it's been a lot of games, but that's the way it's set up. The Kings have been benefactors on that. Maybe on other teams, like, wow, this team's played a ton of games lately. Sacramento kind of went in there and took care of business. It was a perfect schedule game. Now, Dallas still gives all the credit, still demolished the Kings. That may be the biggest factor was actually mm -hmm. Dallas, but a factor, yeah, I would say it is. I think you're absolutely right. And by the way, I'm you know pulling Katie's chain. I've used it as an excuse five times yeah. <laughs> today. Uh, cut or uh, question number three, please. Question three. Question three. We talked about Willodies when they lose to bad teams. Was this the worst loss of the year to a good team? I would call it the Wobloti tag team is what we would actually lay on this one, which is not an acronym we use often, but it's a Wobloti tag team. Want to take a guess? No idea. <laughs> worst bad loss. I think it's the worst blowout loss to a good team team so for example was last night's loss worse than the blown 27 point lead in phoenix no no i don't think so either not in the way i would say the way i felt after the different game. kind of loss yeah but was but this is you know there's the loss where like you choked it away oh my god this feels terrible and to me those are worse yeah Blowouts suck, but again, it's a loss whether you lose by five. I, I don't. I would far rather just get my my socks blown off and lose by fifty than have a Phoenix type game where you just blow a giant lead. I would too. The way why this would move up for me would be the importance yes. of the game. Now yes. Friday becomes absolutely critical. Yes, and it can't go down the path of other. What do we call them? Will Will Oh, uh, Will uh, Tag. Oh, tag T to a good team. Okay. Yeah. Early in the season, here's the parallel path this has got to avoid. Yeah. The only other time the Kings have played two teams in a row like this. Yeah. Houston. Remember early That's in the right. season, the first time they lost. Okay. Well, that was weird. That was weird. But wait till tonight. Yeah. And then it was worse. Yes. New yeah, Orleans lost by 33. Okay. Wow. Wait till tonight. Right. Lost by 36. Yep. So that one to me was also very similar to this. I will tell you this. So Friday to me, is it's about the response on Friday. You mentioned the New Orleans game, January 7th, 133-100. Wasn't that the one to go to the to Vegas? Is that at home? Uh, that was at home. No, okay. What, what about the two in New Orleans? Uh, the two in New Orleans were, that was earlier. That was. Uh, right, that's the only yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 129-93 and then 117-112. Uh, the home one Okay, was, so they lost by five the second time. The first time yeah. they lost by 36. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Boston home loss is also one of those to a good team. That's the they... only the only other one I would put up against last night. And I agree with you. The circumstances are far more yeah. uh, intense. But 133-100 with a trip to Vegas on the line. Yeah. You're on national TV. And you'd already been beaten by these guys yeah. twice, including a blowout. That's the that's the other. Because, like, Boston's Boston. Right? Yeah. Like, whatever. And was that the one the night before? Did they play the Clippers? Uh, the night before that, they lo they won 135-130 uh, to Toronto. And then the following night, they actually beat Detroit 131-1. Excuse me. The following Tuesday, uh, they beat Detroit in Detroit. Okay. That was the one. But was the, was the mm -hmm. Pelicans loss a back-to-back? -back? Pelicans loss. No, Friday to oh, Sunday. Okay, yeah, you're mind. right. Uh, I'm trying to think of which one you're looking. Uh, no, but the first Pelicans loss was a back-to-back. -back. They played at Dallas and won to go to eight and four. And then they played New Orleans the next night. And that's when they lost one twenty nine ninety. How about after New Orleans at home? Was it the Clippers the next night after New Orleans at home? Uh, well, after For the, the tournament, the, the tournament, uh, no, after the tournament one, 
Uh, they that's when they went to Detroit. Oh, okay, never mind. So they've played. Have they played New Orleans four times this year? Yeah, already. They got a fifth coming up. I, kinda, I know we got a break here. I I, I want to. I'm. This is. You're never wrong about this stuff. No, there was something with. Where is the I felt. Oh no no no. You know the game I'm thinking of is they had the emotional win against the Clipper. Oh, excuse me, against the Warriors. Twenty three point comeback. Yes. In in season tournament, I think the next night they hosted the Clippers and they were off. That's right. That's it. That's what I'm thinking of. That's what it was. Yeah. We'll take a break when we come back. Uh, let's go around the NBA and uh, the standings. They are tightening like my belt loops. We will uh, talk about that next. Subscribe to Sacktown Sports on YouTube and watch the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and the Drive Guys. Live Monday through Friday from 6 to 6. Plus view archive shows and exclusive content. Subscribe at YouTube.com slash Sacktown Sports. Hey, it's Carmichael Day for my good friends at American Energy. Now, I've told you this before, but this is what we call extending a good deal. Right now, American Energy Heat and Air is offering an HVAC diagnostic for $99. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Never mind. They're offering it free. It's a $99 value, but you get it for zero. Let the American Energy team test your system connections and all the moving parts of that system to ensure that it's functioning properly. Now, this is a limited time offer. Expires March 31st. Call today to schedule your appointment at 916-520-9990. Speak to the company that has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau that's been making the greater Sacramento area proud since 1981. 916-520-9990 or AmericanEnergyAir.com. Tell them Carmichael Dave sent you. Call 916-520-9990 now. On vacation and lost in the moment. Unfortunately, so is her Chase debit card. It's got to be somewhere. Maybe she lost it at Salsa Night. These skirts should have pockets. Or maybe she lost it at Pilates. Three and two and But five. she's not worried. With the Chase mobile app, she can lock her card till it turns up. Tools that help protect. One bank that puts you in control. Visit chase.com slash checking. Chase, make more of what's yours. Chase mobile app is available for select mobile devices. Message and data reads may apply. J.P. Morgan Chase Bank and a member FDIC. At Progressive, we know how much you love your recreational vehicles. So we decided to record this commercial in an RV. With a family on vacation. Mom, who are these people? Oh, that's Flo and Jamie. They're recording a commercial, sweetie. Don't they do that in the studio? Uh, normally. No. But we wanted to feature a family who bundled their home and RV and saved with Progressive. Um, yeah, it looks like you're all out of chips. Okay, I think we'll just drop you off at the next gas station. Bundle your home and other vehicles with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Not available in all states or situations. It's time to trade in and trade up at Northern California's number one Honda dealer, Stockton Honda. Whether you're shopping new or pre-owned, Stockton Honda has the selection and savings. Plus, get top dollar for your trade. Come in today or go to StocktonHonda.com. It's all a click away. Anytime, anywhere, it's all here. StocktonHonda.com. Based on 2022 total new and Honda certified pre-owned vehicle car sales from American Honda Motor Company's own one report. Hey guys, do you know your T-Level? Revive Men's Health here in Sacramento is helping you take that first step toward better health and enhanced intimacy with a free testosterone level test, exam, and consultation. Plus, for this month only, qualified patients can kickstart their treatment with a free supply of ED medication. Call Revive Men's Health Sacramento at 916-365-4566. That's 916-365-4566. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Only place in the morning to get your sports fix. Live and vocal. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. The weird thing. You're weird. You're weird. So says the yeah. chat mod. I didn't know how to say that. Name. Okay, weirdo. Party of what? The camp. Hey, hey, Chris, come on. You know, you, you know the language a little better than I do. I think it's Portuguese. Or, it, it is Portuguese? I think so. Campayo? Campayo? C A M P A E O with the thingy. The, you know, thingy. Mm-hmm. Campayo. Put a, put a phonetic pronunciation. We're a long time uh, loyal listeners. He says, I'm, 
He says I'm weird because look, I, I, you know, obviously I'm I'm big on analogies here or metaphors or whatever you want to call it, but they're in a cycling conversation because Chris has a tricycle or something, Chris Guerrero, and uh, I don't know. There's some cycling going on or whatever, and I said, look, no offense, but honestly, I'd rather watch my parents make out than watch like the Tour de France or something. Like I I, I don't. I, but the the one exception is uh whatever the cycling is in the Olympics where they go around the oval, yeah, the Mel- Velotron Velodrome. Sure. That's fine. But okay. part of it, it's like why I watch, I don't like auto racing, but the crashes are interesting. But then I, I feel bad for liking the crash. I don't like the crashes because I worry about people. But like, that's I'm, that's the most entertaining thing about racing to me. So I choose to not watch a sport where the most entertaining thing to me could kill people. Like, I just don't feel great about that. Right. Cycling. You watch uh, fighting sports. Yeah, that's different. The- <laughs> come on, Chris. It's <laughs> come different. On, come on, Chris. But the the cycling, like, oh my god, when when like, <clears throat> sorry. but when there's like, you know, when they all take off, and there's like two hundred of them, and like one of them goes, and then like thirty others, and it's this giant pile of human and 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 spokes and and little baseball cards and the thing and whatever. That's what happened. Like those always crack me up, and again. I don't feel comfortable laughing about that. Yeah. How do the papers get delivered? How how does that happen? I had to do that crap once too. upon a time on my little Univega. Yeah. That's I, a crap job. I had it on a 10 speed. <laughs> I've got a show for you. Oh yeah. It, it's uh it's a mockumentary on HBO called The Tour de Pharmacy. And it's by Andy Sandberg, and it's about like 80s Tour de France where basically everybody was on steroids. <laughs> That's a real thing. Yeah, That's... it's probably about forty-eight minutes, but it's hilarious. <laughs> that was years ago, huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I get it, forty-eight minutes. I give that a whirl. That's look to each their own. And like, I know there's a lot of cycling enthusiasts out there. I'm not trying to make fun of you or mock you in any way, shape, or form. I'm just saying personal entertainment. Yeah, I, 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 I can't like. Oh, he's got the yellow jacket, jersey thing. What is it? The Best. Tour de France guy. The the the, the, the yellow. Yeah, it's a yellow jersey, right? Like. Really? We they're the leader. Yeah, like I admire the like it's super athletic. And I admire the the athleticness of it. Athleticism. But you know, the cycle psych- just not for you. It's just the cycling is yeah. Oh, here's Luis Giuseppe uh took the lead and let's go to over to this guy who's well he's riding a bike on a road and here's his times and here's another guy who's riding a bike on a road okay but you know what to each their own and they got really strong legs yes they do god bless them fit fit uh going around the nba yeah the lakers they uh (laughs) they did not uh have lebron james and uh they won in milwaukee in overtime and but they the team to beat in the West. The Lakers? Oh, excuse me, double overtime. Yeah, because they beat a good team, so I'm sure that's today's question on the national shows. Laker fans are in their feelings right now because this week's NBA narrative, we're back to the whole free throw disparity. And Laker fan, their responses basically vary from cry harder, which means, oh, yeah, it's rigged, so what? Screw you, cry harder, whatever, deal with it which at least I appreciate them being honest about it. Like, we don't care that it's rigged. It's our team. Or when you're saying there's this free throw disparity of, like, literally 700 free throws, but you're not pointing out where are the bad calls just because there's a free throw disparity. Where are the bad calls? That doesn't mean they're, that doesn't mean they're bad calls. Maybe that just means that we get fouled more. Really? Yeah. What does the kid say? Uh, not come on, Susan, but. Uh, uh, Linda. Well, whatever he says. Linda. Yeah. Linda. L- Linda. Come Listen. On. Look, Linda. L- yeah, there it is. Listen, Linda. Listen, Laker, Linda. That, 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 you're, you're delusional. Laker, Linda. I want to point out, too, in that game, you have to give credit where credit is due. I don't, I, don't, I, I feel like I always feel guilty if we have a lot of fun with a narrative and then something happens that goes against that narrative and we don't acknowledge it. I, I feel like it's unethical for some weird reason. Like, Anthony Davis played 52 minutes last he night. He did. He played 52 minutes last night. This is Mr. Uh, you know, Mr. Glass, Mr. Here's Anthony street Davis clothes. in a wheelchair, street clothes, you know, all that stuff. 
He played 52 minutes, dude. Uh, the L.A. Lakers have played 72 games this year. Anthony Davis has played 68. That's okay. Look, I mean, it's just one year, but I, I feel like you have to acknowledge that. Like, so put him in all NBA ahead of DeMontis Sabonis. Well, the funny thing is, is that both LeBron, who didn't play last night, both LeBron and Anthony Davis have been relatively healthy this year, and the Lakers are 40 and 32 right. and fighting to stay in the, uh, you know, in in the, to, to get out of the play in uh, 34 points and 23 rebounds to go with four blocks for Anthony Davis, 16 and 14 for Hachimura, 29 each for D'Angelo Russell and uh, Austin Reeves. That 29 matched Giannis out of the Kumpo. Damian Lillard had 27 on nine of 29 shooting. Let it fly, big man. Little man. Little man. Little man. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Sorry. Uh, just a quick check, because I feel like, yeah, that's what I thought. I feel like I've seen a couple of these. Damian Lillard is shooting 42% from the field. Well, they got him for his big shot making that he can make, hopefully, for them in the playoffs. Oof. Um, uh, around the NBA, S'mores. Uh, the Warriors, 113, the Heat, 92. So that gives them a, an easy cushion on the idle uh, Houston yeah. Rockets. They uh, did what they're supposed to, though, in that sense. And Miami had a bunch of guys out. Jimmy Butler was sick. There was three or four other guys out. And credit to the Warriors for winning that game. They, they're on this big, long road trip. Wait a minute. Hello? Oh, you wait. Yeah, I heard what Jason said. You Wait, you can beat the Heat when they're missing injured players? Yeah, yeah I agree. I'm confused by that. But J no, Jason said it. Okay. Okay, love you too. Bye. No, you say bye. Was that Adam? Adam Silver? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know you could beat the Heat when they had players out. You can. Yeah. Apparently, the Warriors took care of business right. in Miami. Right. Thunder 119, Pelicans 112. Thunder Pelicans. The Thunder Pelicans. Somebody actually sent me a uh, instant message. Me a, they made a graphic of a Thunder Pelican. I'll show you that during the break. Hey, now. I'll show you the Thunder Pelican during <laughs> the break, Jason. 119-112, which had the Kings uh, won last night. You know that 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 would then make things a little bit interesting because well they'd it, have been one back of the Pelicans uh, they'd have been one back for the Pelicans uh, and they would have been one and a half back of the LA Clippers for the four season that's all we'd be talking about today yeah. all we'd be talking about is let's get greedy uh, three for madness questions is is can we get greedy for the four seed blah 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 that's not the way it went when we come back uh we'll get into some other stuff including the jiffy lube drive of the game we've got that for you we have some post game audio as well next kevin herter plays here it's herter he's been hot he fires he's still hot kevin herter from downtown has a 15 point first quarter sacktown sports is your proud home of the sacramento kings What's up? We're talking to Chad Hoblet of Hoblet Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram and Woodland. Chad, what's going on for the Jeep celebration event? Save big on your next off-road adventure when you get 15000 off MSRP on remaining new 2023 Jeep Gladiator Sport, Rubicon, and Mojave. You pick. Uh, my wife has one of those Jeep Gladiator trucks. And she loves it. Everyone I know that has a Gladiator loves them. And we have 16 to choose from. We're here to help you find the vehicle you need at the best possible price. That's why we don't have a bunch of dealer markups, surprise add-ons, or fees. At Hoblet, you get the small town experience with the big city savings and selection. This savings can't last long. Don't miss your chance to save big with Hoblet. See their full selection at hobletdodge.com. Unbeatable prices, unbeatable selection. Nobody beats Hoblet, period. 15000 in total net savings after national standalone 15% of MSRP factory rebate. Sample VIN 566-279-2023 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon with 9494 factory rebates and 5506 dealer discount. 15000 total net savings, five at each net savings. See dealer for details. Are you stressing about your IRS tax problems? Have you received notices from the IRS threatening to garnish your wages, levy your bank accounts, or seize your property? You need an ally. Allies Tax Relief has tax attorneys and enrolled agents that are ready to fight for you. They have saved millions for taxpayers just like you. Allies Tax Relief can help put a stop to IRS collections and, most importantly, negotiate your tax debt. Here's Brenda, a happy client of Allies Tax Relief. I owe the IRS around $57,000, and they're about to start garnishing my paychecks. I heard a commercial on the radio about Allies Tax Relief, so I thought I'd give them a call. After a day, they were able to at least stop the garnishments, and after a few months of negotiations, I walked away owing the IRS only $301. 
If you owe the IRS, call Allies Tax Relief right now for your free consultation. Call 800-230-5174. 800-230-5174. That's 800-230-5174. Ew, gotta get rid of this old Backstreet Boys t-shirt. Tell me why. Because it stinks, boys. Tell me why. I've washed it so many times, but the odor won't come out. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors. It helps remove them. Wow, it worked, guys. Yeah. Downy Rinse and Refresh removes more odor in one wash than the leading value detergent in three washes. Find it wherever you buy laundry products. Now, during Staples Print Pig Sale, get $20 off your print purchase of 100 or more, $50 off your print purchase of 200 or more, and $100 off your print purchase of 300 or more. So the more you print at Staples, the more you save. To demonstrate, print, print, print at Staples, you save, save, save. But if you print, 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 print at Staples, you save, 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 save. See how that works. Staples Print Pig Sale. Print more, save more. Up to $100. Ends 4-6. Visit staples.com slash print for details. We love the game because anything can happen. There's no sure thing. How did that go in? Every play. Oh, my goodness. Every shot. Are you kidding me? Every swing is a risk if you bet. I can't believe that just happened. There's no easy money. There's no luck. And no one wins all the time. If you bet, bet responsibly. And always set a limit. Learn more at responsibleplay.org. Beachhead Deli on 7-Eleven K Street is now your place to go in downtown Sacramento prior to all the games, concerts, and events. Conveniently located just across the street from the arena, Beachhead Deli features the finest gourmet sandwiches and craft beverages anywhere. Beachhead Deli at 7-Eleven K Street is also your premier lunch destination seven days a week. Come by and say hi to new owner Brad Wakai. He's so excited to take care of all your taste bud needs. That's Beachhead Deli at 7-Eleven K Street in Sacramento. Sources and he, he just kind of tells it as it is and gets to the point. Jason Ross. He has a lot of pretty smart things to, to say. He's good at what he does. On Sacktown Sports. All right, welcome back. Katie at nine. A lot more kings to come, including in this segment. There's some more TNT stuff, a little post game. Uh, just to follow up on an earlier segment, and I won't spend too much time on this, just to recap, in case you just tuned in. And this is especially for our YouTube guys, so sorry, everyone else, but you'll get the gist. Our GM has a gumball machine filled with peanut M&Ms. I eat a lot of them. So about twice a year, I bring a, a big Sam's Club thing of peanut M&Ms to refill. I got them on Friday. Uh, Saturday, I got the munchies, and I ate some of them. And then yesterday, I ate some more while I was stress watching the game. So my question for Jason and Chris and everyone else is, I've eaten some of them. Do I still give them to him to refill his gumball machine for the public M&Ms or do I just keep these, take the L or the M hmm. and then uh, go get another one? So the, the boys asked to see the M&Ms. So here's the reveal. I'd say it's a little yeah. over two thirds. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It's an awkward. It's almost like that could be how they're packed, but you'd also go, wow, they kind of shortchanged. Yeah. You could be uh, shrinkflation. Am I yeah, right? Shrinkflation. That's the thing. That's exactly what I was thinking, Chris. Like, you're right, Jason. It, it, if you ate about like 10 more, I'd be like, yeah, there's something up. If I bought, if I saw this at the store, it might dissuade me. It's enough gone. To I'd reach another. I'd reach for 100%. another one that looked like it had more. And I think, let's just say for uh, S's and giggles, if they were all like this, it might dissuade me from buying them. Mm. So I'd be like, dude, I, I can see through the top here. There's there's yeah, this you whole know space. Yeah, it's too much. So you, you, you think you think go get another one well also if you spin, or you cover it up and just do it, put it in yourself just like oh let me take care of this and just re oh just go over there and just walk in kind of with the with the, the hey got some m&ms and real quick and then just kind of like casually put them on my right side open up the gumball machine uh and then and then pour them in and then yeah. when i give them to him even yes. if you've already opened it up and you've turned it 
Like it's going to look like it's full. You could also buy more of an M's and put it in the top. Oh, just go buy a couple of packs of peanut M and M's. Maybe one is all it would take. And then what else I could do is I cover it up with the, and now it's like, it's no. now it's factory sealed. That doesn't look weird, right? Not at all. Okay. Also, also you're going to eat some. I'm hundred percent going to eat some. Look, they, they, they smell so good. Yeah. Would you like some? No, thank you. Okay. Chris, later. maybe a little later. I'm good. Okay. Wow. All right. Uh, Kings last night lost. We've got stuff we'll play for you later, uh, but we've been focusing a little bit. The one one clip we did play with Shaq breaking down uh, Demontis Sabonis. I, I think it's always interesting to see what the national folks uh, yeah. have to say. Here's uh, Jamal Crawford on uh, De'Aaron Fox. From three, De'Aaron Fox, two or three from beyond four. the arc. He's, He's in the alliance, so. Has that question. He, had, he makes the, the injury. He's what? You watch right the here. Alliance. He's on the second side. He's going to be able to get down. <laughs> he he play with a guy like Malik Monk. You're able to hide behind the defense. His patience when he gets there. The floater, same, Low same game. hand. And then right here, if you watch the high ball screen, he gets the, the switch he wants. No problem. I love his patience. And then right here, he gets the double pick and roll. Watch the patience again. He's dancing. He calls confusion, calls the switch. Here, you get it. Give it back so I can get down here. Yeah, I got Derek Lively on. Yeah, makes a play, gets to the basket. Got him. De'Aaron Fox is at, like we say, he's at peace with his game. He's also the engine on this team. But when you play with a guy like Sabonis who can make plays as well, it allows him to be more aggressive on the weak side. And that's what he's doing tonight. It is a dynamic duo of De'Aaron Fox and Damana Sabonis. Mm. Okay. That obviously was halftime. So they're a dynamic. And by the way, the halftime show, even though the Mavericks were up. Yeah, by just five. It was, but it was the Sacramento Kings halftime show. Mm. I mean, okay. it was very heavy on Kings. Yeah. And I felt myself thinking, you know what, if I'm just being fair, if the Kings were playing in Dallas on TNT and we were up, and I saw that halftime show, and it was about Luca and Kyrie. I'd be pissed. Mm -hmm. So it, we don't ever get those. So that was kind of nice. Uh, one 800 9 2 It's time for your Jiffy Lube drive of the game. Yeah, it was a blowout. And, uh, yeah, there was, in fact, a Jiffy Lube drive of the game. Be the first person to identify that. And you, that's right, you will get a $100 gift certificate from our dear friends at Jiffy Lube. And we've already got somebody. Okay. Like this. Chris, good morning. You're on with Jason and Dave. Good morning, Jason. Good morning, Dave. How are you? I'm doing good. Do you have the Jiffy Loop drive of the game for us? Yes, the alley oop dunk by Malik Mark, assisted by Devin, Mit Devin Mitchell. Wow. I mean, that is oddly specific. Yeah. Also, rhymes yeah. the alley oop dunk from Malik Monk. But even though there's a little, little bit of an alliteration there, a little bit. <laughs> Did he get it right, Jason? I don't know. We'll find out. All right. I'll play the clip right now. Here's an alley-oop set up, and there's a throwdown for Sacramento's Malik Monk. Davion Mitchell put that ball at the rim. And in a second half where there's been little to be excited about for Kings fans, that is your Jiffy Lube drive of the game. Hey, congratulations. Chris, all over it, baby. You got yourself a $100 gift certificate. From our good friends at Jiffy Lube, have fun with that. Don't well, I mean, actually, literally, spend it all in one place. Yes. And uh, thank you for listening to us and listening to the G Man. Thank you very much. All right, hold the line, Chris. As you light work for him. Hey, you think last night was one of those nights where where G Man was like, "Oh God, is there going to be a drive of the game?" <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it by the end it felt like that, but it was five points. In that yeah, time. that's true. And now, this was in third quarter. So yeah, that's fine, but. Third quarter is when it started to get away. Big, quarter, big, big, big time. So you had Shaq uh, there uh, before. Uh, you had Jamal Crawford talking about uh, De'Aaron Fox. Uh, here is De'Aaron Fox post game, And uh, I don't know if this is just that clip or the whole thing, but uh, it might be the whole thing. It might be the whole thing. I think Chris probably cut up separate stuff. And uh, we had, uh, and it was edited for uh, a couple of questions. I don't know if it this says, is. It so says yeah, it. It says oh, edited for Chris. Okay. says it. Then, then it's the whole thing. Then it's the whole thing. All right, here's De'Aaron Fox. Listen, listen to the end. Right, what did you see that kind of led to Dallas mucking up the game? Oh, I mean, I think they were they were more physical than us tonight. Um, they got to lose balls, um, which allowed them to get out in transition. They got a lot of easy buckets, and then uh, we just weren't able to get stops at the end of the day either. But uh, we have to be better on the offensive end as well. Did you notice anything in the first half that kind of prepared you for what might be coming there in that third quarter? Oh. Not really. I mean, I think we played a, a, a pretty good first half. Um, but no, nah, I mean, I think uh, 
they just beat us on on both ends of the court in the second half. Um, like I said, they were more physical. They got into the ball. Uh, they pressured us, and uh, we weren't we weren't able to get into our offense, and um, that led them to get easy buckets. And then once you you know once you, once you see once a good player see the ball go in the basket, you know there's nothing you can do about it. And we uh, we didn't do a good job on the, on the defensive end either. Which is surprising again because you guys have played so well defensively. Spray three wise though. Why did they have such great open looks, do you think, today? Oh, I mean, they were just able to get into the paint. Um, they got downhill. Phil's pick and roll one-on-one -on -one, uh, collapsed our defense. So we have to be better in keeping the ball in front. Um, obviously, you know, Luca, Kyrie, Tim, they're going to make tough shots at um, at some point. But um, obviously we know, you know, Luca wants to get to a step back, and we weren't able to keep him away from that. And um, he hit a few, and now, you know, you're, you're kind of overreacting, and now he's getting downhill and just making the game easier for everybody else. The circumstances of the game, does that change how much more painful uh, this this win is or can you or sorry, losses or can you flush it just like any other? Uh, I mean, a little but I mean, we play this. We play this team again. So hopefully, you know, if we're able to win that game, then, you know, we have the tiebreaker. We're back tied up again. Um, but definitely in the, in the West right now, when you, especially when you're playing a team that, you know, you're right in the running with. Um, obviously, a win or loss here against them and you know they get a winner or a loss is a, is a whole game difference so um we know this is an extremely important game and that just makes uh friday's game you know all the more important so we can get the tiebreaker win the series 3-1 um we're back tied up and we're in front of them so um we have to be prepared for the next game uh darren we've seen you for quite a while now you've come out and and you know addressed like some of your bigger and, and you know maybe more difficult losses is this like something you're kind of making a point of doing um, for, for some reason in turn, you know, just leading this team and, and kind of showing that accountability. And as and far all. as talking to y'all. Yeah. Just, you I don't know, get, I, don't get okay. I don't get nothing out of that. They asked me, I do it. But for the team, do you, is there, is, is it, so it really doesn't mean anything. In they don't, they don't do a I come up here and talk. I'll tell you that, but no, nah, I mean, I, if Michael asked me, I, I did. If Michael or Shannon asked me, I, I do it. Okay. Well, they're yeah. Good. I get no joy in this after a win or a loss. Uh, my team doesn't care if I come up here in a blowout win or a blowout loss. So sorry I brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Uh, it was Jason Anderson. Oh, it was Jason? Yeah. I didn't recognize his voice. Hey. But Vox was ready for that answer. He was very – he he had that one in the chamber. He did. Ready to go. He and was ready because of, you know, that stuff that was going on a little bit earlier in the year when Fox mm. wasn't maybe asked about it and – didn't come out and remember Keon Ellis was the one coming out. Well, Fox for his part, I, it's come out a lot of times. And I don't, I saw some, especially people, when the Kings are very bad. Right. Yes. Right. And I, I saw some people, I saw a couple of people for the most, by the way, the vast majority of people were like, you go dude. But I, I, I saw a couple of people, you know, your, your usual sorts. Yeah, he gets paid millions of dollars. He's kind of coming off bad there. I mean, give me, give me. Well, he's out there answering the questions. It's not enjoyable after a loss. Yeah. It's I like that he's being. You know, we either complain about canned sound bites from players, and then when they show any sort of truth or personality that that we maybe it doesn't hit right. And ah, he gets paid millions of dollars. It's his. It's his responsibility to answer questions. He literally has been answering questions. Yeah, common theme is we complain a lot. Really SP. do, and it's like, bro, was he supposed to be like? And again, I try to get people to apply it to their world. It's like if Billy in accounting screws up the math afterwards. Hey, Bill, uh, I noticed you didn't carry the four, and uh, the Johnsons had to pay an extra fifteen percent. Your thoughts? Yeah, well, I just screwed up. Well, you know, also last week, and you're not. It's not a fun press conference. So, what are you supposed to say? I really enjoy. I enjoy getting questions from Jason Anderson right. about this thing. Like, yes, it's amazing. No, I totally would not rather hit the shower, get dressed, go see my wife and newborn, and go home and uh, play Call of Duty and get my mind off of this and get ready for it. No, I would rather sit here and have you guys ask me questions right. and then – do my best not to say anything stupid because then it's going to become a five day story and I could step in a lava pit at any time. Like, of course, these guys aren't going to. I, I, I get it. As long as you do it, yeah, we'll do stuff we don't like. As long as you're doing it, that's fine. Dallas dominated game one. Luca owned the first half. Uh, we've got that and more. We'll talk about it. We got some comments from Luca as well next.
The NFL's leading rusher plays here. The handoff to McCaffrey walks in the end zone. Handoff to McCaffrey takes it right down to the goal line. He does his thing again. McCaffrey goes in motion right. Backwards pass led by Juszczyk. A block there. Hurdles the man. 10, 5, touchdown! C M C. You can hear all of Christian McCaffrey's touchdowns on your home for 49ers football. Sacktown Sports. Oh, honey, it's our favorite Leaf Filter Trusted Pro, Matt. Matt, come in, come in. Hi, Mrs. Sparks. You wanted me to stop by? Is everything okay with your Leaf Filter Gutter Protection System? Okay. Of course, silly. We wanted you to stop by for dinner as our way of thanking you. Yes, to thank you for that free gutter inspection, the free estimate, and uh, what was the other thing? That lifetime guarantee. Well, Mr. and Mrs. Sparks, those are just Leaf Filter's policies. Everyone who calls Leaf Filter gets a trusted pro to come out for a free gutter inspection and estimate. And every Leaf Filter installation comes with a lifetime guarantee. So it's... It's not just us? No, sir. We don't want anyone to worry about clogged gutters ever again. You mean everyone gets this level of service? Everyone. They just need to visit leaffilter.com slash CBS to schedule their free inspection. Okay, okay, but you must be starving. You work so hard. Ready to love your gutter protection as much as we do? Visit leaffilter.com slash CBS and get up to 30% off today. See representative for warranty details. Promotion is 20% off plus a 10% senior or military discount. One discount per household. Jiffy Lube has a special promotion going on right now. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum full synthetic oil change at Jiffy Lube and receive a $25 e-gift card from popular brands for food, gas, and more. It's that easy. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum full synthetic oil change and receive a $25 e-gift card. So basically, going to Jiffy Lube can get you a free lunch or a pizza for dinner. That's what we call added value for the consumer. That's why Jiffy Lube is number one in the greater Sacramento area for oil changes. Visit JiffyLube.com for more details and valuable coupons today. Discover your dream home at Subcontractors United, your source for all home improvement needs. A talented team of home services experts is ready to make your projects a breeze. No more endless internet searches. Find your contractors in one place. Enjoy stress-free service absolutely free with no hidden costs and no accounts to set up. Transform your living space into something extraordinary. Visit Subcontractors United today and experience the joy of hassle-free home improvement. Dream big at subcontractorsunited.com. Dirty Heads. Live in concert. Every single day. Friday, April 12th, 7.30 p.m. The venue at Thunder Valley. Special guest, The Elevators. On sale at thundervalleyresort.com. Don't miss Dirty Heads Live. Rescue me. We're going abroad for the first time in years to Spain. So we started using Babbel. And started learning Spanish fast. With Babbel, you can start having conversations in another language in just three weeks. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? When you learn a language, you want to actually use it. Babbel is designed with that goal in mind. In just three weeks, we're starting to have conversations in Spanish. Gracias, Babbel. Babbel, language for life. Now try Babbel for free at Babbel.com. That's B-A-B-B-E-L dot com. Hey, Boost Mobile here to help you start from scratch. Boost is giving you the chance to win incredible prizes in our latest scratch-off sweepstakes, including up to $5,000 cash with over 7,600 prizes up for grabs. This is an opportunity you don't want to miss. For your chance to win, just head to your local participating Boost Mobile store and ask for a scratcher. It's that easy. So visit a Boost Mobile store today and get after it. Ends 331.24 while supplies last. No purchase necessary. Other restrictions apply. Visit your local Boost Mobile store for details. All guests come to you from the Folsom Lake Honda hotline. Folsom Lake Honda, your one-stop Honda shop. KHTKAM Sacramento. KYMX HD2 Sacramento. Take it on the local level. Live and local, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios. Sacktown Sports. The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song, and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone. And then boom! With Jason Ross. No, he did it. Yes, he did. Call or text at 916-339-1140. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on Saturday.
Yes, he did. The Jason Ross. Story. <laughs> oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah. What just happened? Wow. What just happened? Earl, remember uh, earlier, Earl, year, earlier, in the last segment, we played the end of the deer and Fox thing. Yeah. And then I, I hadn't even looked at our YouTube chat. Then I said, you know, I saw the vast majority were like, hey, Darren, like great, great, you know, that's a very true, very real comment he made, you know, good for you, no problems. And I said, but there's the usual set of characters that are like, Man, you have a, you have a, you're coming off bad. You have a right, you have a responsibility to talk to the media. And then I didn't even look at the YouTube chat. And then shockingly, Earl is ranting, not ranting, but you know. He does not agree. When you're a pro athlete, you don't get the same right to a private life as a normal person does. You're a topic at that point. Well, uh, just real quick, let's explore that. What right to a private life? What? Why does Earl have a right to a private life? If, if Earl, and I don't mean this, I'm not, I don't mean this how it sounds. I'm just being honest here. If Earl was interesting enough for people to care about his private life, even if he was a private citizen, but like if Earl had... <sighs> a 17 inch ear. Like there'd be some people that are like outside his house, taking pictures, wanting to see the ear guy. Like, mm-hmm. sorry, dude, you didn't ask. For, he didn't ask for that. Right. It's a loose and silly analogy, but wow. That was a really good analogy. Thank you. What, what I'm saying is, is that these guys aren't signing up. They're signing up to play basketball. One of the job requirements is, in fact, media availability. But you're not required to make that availability pleasant in any way, shape, or form, should you wish. Yeah, technically that one time uh, Marshawn Marshawn Lynch Lynch. just gave answers. Rasheed Wallace, I'm here, didn't answer the questions. He was available. May not be great for your brand. Yeah. Maybe awesome. For, by the way, it didn't hurt Marshawn. Yeah, you choose to do it how you want to do it. You like, choose. Yeah. Some people go, that's not the question I asked you. I answered it I the am- way I wanted to answer it. You want me to go somewhere, I'm not answering Ask me way. a uh, Ask me a question, Jason, about last night's game as if I was a player. Okay. Uh, any, any question. Anything. Uh, so, Dave, what did you see as the problem defensively in the second half? I didn't really see a problem. I, you I, didn't see a problem in the defense that no, you guys played? That's what I said. So how do you fix that come Friday? Uh, we'll have to figure it out. Like literally could do that all day. Yeah. And then literally I would get frustrated, all. you would get frustrated, right. and, we, and we went nowhere. And that's it. There's no requirement. Now, but also on that, what bothers, mm-hmm. this is my own personal pet peeve, because I you said it and others have said it. Yeah. Not you, you were saying what others have said. Or the same like for free throws, let's say, is where it really gets me. If I was getting paid X amount of dollars, right. how do you miss free throws? I don't care if you're getting paid a dollar. <laughs> or you're getting paid all right, of the right, money. Right. You can miss. It's, right. It, it, you shouldn't. Or not even you shouldn't. No one makes them all. I don't think anybody's trying to miss. Um, but that to me, you're putting the money in as a, or, hey, you're getting paid that much. You have to answer. Do you? Do you? Right. And why is the money a thing? It is. By the way, the money is. Here's the thing that people. Look, there's a very fine line here. To be able to play professional sports is an absolute privilege and a gift. These are the the one percent of the one percents. They have a beautiful life. They get they get all the good sh- uh, rooms on the cruise ships. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like they 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 are privileged right. and wonderful. And by the way, and some of it is just simply like you know I I don't like saying genetic lottery because I think there's there's dog whistles there. There are some people that have natural physical gifts that we don't have. Right. But they also there there are also for every one of those that are in the NBA or in a in a major league sport, there's five hundred that have the same physical gifts sure. that they were blessed with that don't put in the work and effort to hone those gifts and, and do that. What I think is very difficult for uh the lay person, me, I'm we're all lay people if we're not playing. I'm not I'm not you know, condescending here. We're all in that boat. What's very difficult for all of us to understand. And we might have a little bit of a better understanding, Jason, because we've covered the sport and these people a long, long time. Yes, they're gifted. It's privileged. It's awesome. We trade places with them. Blah, blah, blah. Of course. But when you miss that shot, you're getting death threats. Mm-hmm. When you uh, are out with your family, you never you're always aware of your surroundings because you never know. It, it could be something as innocent as, hey, a, an overzealous fan that's really means well. 
but you're in the middle of eating with your wife and kids and hey, can I get a picture? It's it's a little rude, but it's it's nothing. That's nothing compared to I've been getting I got a, a, a private message on Instagram last night uh, that said you destroyed the under on my bet. I'll be looking for you. And now for the next week, I go out, I see somebody weird walking around, somebody that just doesn't seem like they belong there. And all of a sudden you have that like that crazy mm-hmm. butterfly scared feeling in you that 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 it, that is a cumulative stress pattern that that happens. You're under a microscope. You're in a fishbowl. Um, yeah. We don't see that other side. You know what? I I was not going to mention this. And I'm going to be very, very um, broad because I don't want to give it the notice it doesn't deserve. But since we're talking specifically about De'Aaron, yesterday on social media, some random social media person took a picture of De'Aaron and his lovely wife and made an absolutely disgusting comment about her. Disgusting. Disgusting. I won't, I will not honor it with saying what it was. It was disgusting. And wrongly, even though people's hearts were in the right place, you know, they're quoting this guy and, and, and reporting him. Hey, report this guy. You're a more, you know, just going after him. It's like, dude, just don't even acknowledge it. Don't even acknowledge it. She saw it. Uh. She was, she had maybe the coolest possible response she could. Like she was trying to laugh it off. And this guy responded with more trolling right back. Oh, really? Oh, it didn't even, did usually at that point, it's like, hey, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm No, this guy, like, I, I, I hope this guy loses his legs. Like, this is a bad, bad person. I don't know. I didn't want to say dies in a fire. That's over the top. I, 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 I but I think losing his legs is like, it's a bad person. Imagine being De'Aaron Fox. And you have to see that. Right. And you or have his to wife, oh, uh, of course, of course, who of, did see it, of, apparently, of course, yeah. And you and she tried to play. Oh, she didn't try. She was so classy and cool in how she handled it. Far more mature than I could ever be. And I and I thought about her and I thought about De'Aaron and like. There's this fine line between. That probably you, happens all the time. Too, all sadly. the time, and you have to you have to you have to walk this tightrope of. You have to walk this tightrope of, I want to lose my mind at you. Also, anything I say, it's a human starting gun and we're off to the races and now it's just going to get that much worse. Yeah. And the hardest part for someone like that, that's got the fame and notoriety is that same person, whoever said this also maybe one day showed up to him and was like, Hey, can I get an autograph picture? Selfie? You're so right. And then not knowing later that. You're Boom. so right. I'm going to just destroy this person on social media. I think one of the most depressing things about that is this guy's bio says he's a 40 year old father of four. He bred four times. Bottom line is this, what I'm trying, I'm, I'm going to land the plane here. I, I'm, I'm not look Earl. I, I get where you're coming from and I'm not, this isn't all about you. Um, of course not. We don't acknowledge enough that although they live privileged, amazing, million-dollar, rich and famous lifestyles and fly private, we don't acknowledge that in today's day and age of social media, of access everywhere, of looking up people's addresses, of um, online media abuse, racism, disgusting things. That, that by the way, this wasn't even a, a well, I mean, you never know, but this wasn't a racial comment either. This was something completely different. We don't acknowledge that part. So so I guess forgive me if I get a little defensive of the athletes when you have a guy in De'Aaron who is in front of the media, who's answering every single question after a 30-plus point blowout on national television when his team, in the only job in the world where you work harder for the goal of extending your work year, <laughs> your contract's still the same, you want to play a month longer, and they're emotionally wrapped up in it. He's not just here to cash checks. 
he he's he's here because he wants glory. He wants to, he he's rides or dies for Sacramento. He wants to bring a championship here. And the guy comes up and he gets a straight up question from a very good reporter in Jason Anderson, and he gives him a straight up answer. I get nothing out of coming up here. Of course, I don't want to talk to you guys after a loss. Right. And it's not much different after a win, but it's part of the job. You say it sounds like he's saying this is a it feels like a job. It isn't. It that's is. the part that's the job. Yeah. He'd rather shower and go home and see his beautiful wife and, and kids and, and get out of here. Right. But he's answering your questions, and we're going to nitpick because he was honest? Yeah. I, I can't. Look, fan, you want a fan? I can't agree with that. Uh, we'll take a break. Sorry, that was supposed to be all about Dallas. Yeah. Yeah, screw him. Yeah, exactly. I just I, I understand where they're coming from, Jason. I, uh, I, I, I'm just, I'll be honest, man. I, with, with so many things here to worry about, I don't have the energy to deal with that. But American Energy might, and right now they are encouraging you to go electric. Save money. That was up and down uh, PG&E bills. <sighs> Look, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get specific, but I got a PG&E. My wife, my wife, email, you know, Jason, sometimes I think people think I just do these bits for a spot. I got a, uh, my wife sent me a PG&E bill uh, yesterday, uh, right after the show. Jason, would you agree that that dollar amount is... Ins- yeah, okay. Whoa. All right, not a bit. Whoa. Not a bit. That's a PG&E bill I got yesterday. That's insane. I got a PG&E bill more than my car payment yesterday. That's actually right around the same. It's gross, dude. So I'm serious. I'm not joking. I'm serious. And I have a fairly new HVAC system. I got to check out the price in here. I'm seriously considering taking American Energy up on their free consultation where they will come out to the house uh, and they will let me know exactly how much it would cost for me to go all electric and get out of these deals, man. Smud, PG&E, the whole thing. Get rid of fluctuating gas bills in the winter and switch to year-round all electric with American Energy. It's perfect. It's spring right now. Summer's coming up. Make it happen, Captain. Let them perform a free and home energy efficiency analysis. See where they can help you save for the warmer months ahead. These guys are the best. I tell you that all the time. Learn more. Figure it out. Get it done. By calling 916 520 That's 916 520 AmericanEnergyAir.com. American Energy. Making the uncomfortable. Comfortable. 30 seconds, folks. 30 second break. And we are back. How will the Kings respond on Friday? Well, I don't know, but we'll make a segment out of it next. <laughs> The Oakland A's open the 2024 season at home Thursday against the Cleveland Guardians. Swung on and missed. That's the way this ball game ends. First pitch at 7 on Sacktown Sports. <laughs> Last season, the Sacramento Kings gave us a little bit of everything. A Pacific Division type GM of the year, coach of the year, clutch player of the year, all-stars and all NBA performers. Plus, we got to light the beam. Here's a steal by Fox, a breakaway. He's got the rip with the left hand. What does this season have in store? Find out. Each and every Sacramento Kings game can be heard right here on your proud home of the beam team, Sacktown Sports at SacktownSports.com. <laughs> Black and purple. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on your local sports leader, Sacktown Sports. Hey, welcome back. Love you. Love the show. Love y'all. 1 800 9 2 0 11 40. It's 1 800 9 2 0 11 40. So, are you of the belief that uh, every time, well, at least recently, when the Kings have had losses or losses like this, mm-hmm. bad, bad losses, yeah. they have responded? They have. You think they do it Friday? If you're, you know, we got a couple days to regroup. Was it a scheme thing? Was it, I mean, part of it too on Dallas. They shot incredibly well. Yes, they did. Kings did not shoot very well. Now, what are the reasons behind that? We talked about a couple things earlier. Uh, maybe it's different lineups, different personnel for Dallas. But, I mean, man, they just – they Luka was so good in the first half, and then Kyrie was so good in the third quarter. I don't even know if the Kings changed their defense on Luka. I think just Kyrie just went. They just went. And so, I, 
the Kings have to do the adjusting for sure come Friday. Yeah, well, Luca said he made some adjustments before the game. Did he? Mm-hmm. What were they? He usually orders just two number fours, but this time he went with a four, a three, and a six. See? Hey, it might have motivated him. You said that yesterday. I'm going to tell you something, Chris. It's a true story. Luke was on the uh, post game TNT. He was a post game interview, right? Which, by the way, I forget the sideline person's name, but was I the only one that kept that you didn't? You know, you were working. I it kept sounding like the announcer said, "Let's go to Abdul Jabbar, who has more on this." And I forget her name, but it's something like Jabbar, Is Jabari, it, or something, or Jabari, or something, something like that. like that. But the way they kept saying it, all I heard was, "Let's go to Abdul Jabbar." And the first time I heard it, I was like, "Wait, what?" Kareem would be an amazing <laughs> sideline reporter. Let's go to Abdul Jabbar yeah. for some thoughts. Well, you know, the Sacramento Kings really need to read my book. Uh, this is a true That's story, Chris. Sister. I listened to the post game. Just because in the back of my head, I'm like, oh, my God. Remember the thing we said yesterday? What if he's listening and Chris and I are bagging on his weight and he goes off and then the Kings get blown out and he says something to the post game? He did. <laughs> but I listened just in case didn't happen uh i do think they'll step up jason weirdly enough i do uh when when they lost that big one to the clippers uh at home after the emotional golden state game uh they turned around and they beat denver um when they lost by 20 uh down in la again to the clippers they came back home uh and they beat um uh, uh the oklahoma city uh, thunder okay when they lost to boston 144 to 119 uh, they turned around two days later at home and they beat Phoenix 120 to 105. Okay. Uh, that lost to Portland in Portland. They uh, turned around and won uh, in Atlanta. That 33 point loss to New Orleans, they won pretty much in Detroit hmm. uh, in the next game. That loss to Indiana when Indiana didn't have Halliburton or Siakam, they turned around and they beat uh, Atlanta. They lost to Cleveland by 26, or excuse me, Detroit by thir- uh, 13 at home. They t- they then went again, and they blew out Denver by 29 points, on and on and on. And, and, you know, again, they lost to Denver in Denver, then went into Minnesota and beat them yeah. in OT. Blah, 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 blah. Now, the difference is it's not the same team, right? And these other, no. the ones I referenced earlier, where they played Houston and Houston very early on in the year yeah, and then lost to Houston again the next game. And they had that twice with New Orleans mm-hmm. early. So I don't know if this is a new matchup problem with Dallas because of their different personnel they now have or if it's, you know, an outlier game like we said earlier. I've tried to be very careful to use the five and seven as a factor but not an excuse but let me let me uh let me open up the door and let me just step into or step across the border and enter excuse town Hmm. population me i would say this if playing five games in seven nights if you are truly fatigued and that is a factor a huge factor wouldn't it look like you come out of the box, you have the lead for most of the first quarter, then you're down three going into the second, then you're just down five going into halftime, and then you come out of halftime and you're just absolutely shellacked 74 to 43 in the second half because your legs have gone, you are completely tired, you are out of it. Now, I'm not saying that that's the reason it happened. But I'm saying if playing five of seven is a contributing factor, that's what the box score would look like. I agree with that. Fatigue. Yeah, I agree with that. General delayed fatigue. So Friday's going to tell me a lot. Look, if they lose to Dallas, it's not the end of the world, of course. They can still make the play in, then make the uh, playoffs, and then beat all the teams and be the champions. And we'll go, hey, remember the Dallas thing? We thought it was, of course. But it's going to be a lot tougher of a road. Right. Friday's going to tell me a lot. I do think they'll win, and and I'm not optimistic guy, but I I I do like the matchup with this team. I I like the fact that the Kings are going to have two and a half, almost three full days to sit around and ruminate on the fact that not only did they get pants at home, but they got pants on national TV, and they need to send a message. Oh, by the way, it is a playoff game in the sense that if the Kings lose, 
Dallas and them will be 2-2 on the series. As you said, it's conference record. I believe that loss would push Dallas ahead on conference record. If the Kings win, they win the series 3-1, which means Dallas would have to finish a game ahead of them to take that spot. If the Kings are a game ahead of Dallas, they're effectively two games ahead, if you follow my point. So I do think they're going to respond, Jason Ross. Yeah, if they have done that, that'd be great. The thing I would say, too, that has to be different, I don't even know. I don't even submit anybody that played well yesterday. I didn't think the Kings had a – I mean, their best players are Fox and Sabonis, and I think Monk is right there. Uh None of the three were very good. First time, I think, according to Frankie, I don't have the tweet in front of me, but I saw it. First time, I think, since it was January 5th, First time the Kings did not have a player score 20 or more. Yeah. And again, it doesn't have to be points, but I just didn't think, I mean, Sabonis, I yeah. thought was going to get one of the worst triple doubles. <laughs> he got a double double. I didn't think he was very good. Yeah, it, it just, Dallas had a lot of guys play well. JR, good morning. I'm cream to bar. I thought the same thing, CDC. Uh, I was waiting for him to say, hey, DeMoss needs to develop a sky hook. Yes. Mm-hmm. Get into the lane a yes. little more. Yes. And I wanted to see him sitting on a recliner in Hawaii smoking a J. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he'd do. Let's go to Abdul Jabbar for the highlights. I love because I thought that I heard that too. And I turned my head like, wait, what? Yeah. Uh, and, I, and I will say, I got to think, uh, Luca, he might be on the steroids. And I know that might be, a, you know, like in and out steroids, but man, he's a little chunky, a little chunky monkey there. I, <sighs> I hate to say it, he's your own. You're allowed to do that. I mean, little boy Joker and all those guys, but um, yeah, he might want to get a treadmill once in a while on his off days. And that's that's what we said yesterday, man. The uh, the, uh, the 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 buffet's got to get ready. The hookah, yeah. the, the hookah places, the the liquor yeah. stores. But you know what? Uh, yeah. w- whatever it is, man, he, he put one on us yesterday. Oh, he did. They, and you're right. That third quarter, I just like. They just sat in the halftime and went, My, I'm done. Mm-hmm. Four to four. Because they kept coming down the middle, and every time they would stop that, they'd kick out. And then, of course, I want to say there was a section there where Dallas was like eight for eight in a row yeah. Yeah. in the third quarter. And it just went, oh, my God, we're getting cooked. Um, they got to, re- yeah, Friday's going to be fun. It's going to be crazy down there. It, it is going to be a good time. Crazy town. Crazy town, Jay brother. Ross, Jay Ross playing flag football in the and with Chris and everyone or whatever. No, we kicked a little football through the field goal post. Yeah, yeah. Doing your better post. Yeah. You were really good at that, Jay Ross. Thanks. I, I think you got I, – you could – with the new kickoff rule, you're perfect for the NFL, brother. That, that's what was my plan. Got it right in Matt's cleavage. Yeah, I did. It was pretty good. Yes. What if Matt doubled down last night? <laughs> man we'll take a break <laughs> i love you man when we come back uh a season worst loss for the kings or matches it at least uh we've got some post-game audio from keegan and mike bronze the uh, head coach of the sacramento kings. <laughs> 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 is this middle name blah <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll talk. steven i see you on the phone line brother we'll get to you Seven. next it's <laughs> sports Last season, the Sacramento Kings gave us a little bit of everything. A Pacific Division type, GM of the year, coach of the year, clutch player of the year, all-stars and all-NBA performers. Plus, we got to light the beat. Here's a steal by Fox, a breakaway. He's got the rip with the left hand. What does this season have in store? Find out. Each and every Sacramento Kings game can be heard right here on your proud home of the beam team, Sacktown Sports at SacktownSports.com. Dr. Ken Howachek and kinesiologist Kelsey Graham discuss the Good Feet Store. The foot has a lot of detail. It has a lot of complexity. There's a lot that can go wrong. A lot of problems start in the foot and end up elsewhere. Knee pain, hip pain, back pain. When aligning the feet properly, we can see relief elsewhere. And that's the beauty of the Good Feet Art support. It can place the feet into their ideal position and gives them the balance, the support, the comfort, and the relief of the pain. The bottom line is that the Good Feet Art support can be a highly effective pain relief solution when nothing else has worked. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are going to function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Visit the Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Modesto, Stockton, and Vacaville for a free fitting and test walk. 
Taste on a whole new level at Sky River Casino in Elk Grove. Enjoy the height of hospitality, whether you're craving an upscale steakhouse, authentic Chinese hot pot and dim sum, or having a refreshing beverage while watching the game. Visit skyriver.com today. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Kevin Lewis of National Garage Door. Whether you need to repair a broken spring, install a new opener, or buy a quality Rainer door, National Garage Door is here for you. Call us today to see how we can transform your house with a new garage door. 638-4554 National Garage Door. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Brantley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jay Cohen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park, May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by Fitty and Fiber, Dawson Oil Company, and Good Guys Heating and Cooling. The sewer system. It's probably the last thing on your mind, and that's okay. Because at the Sacramento Area Sewer District, it's our first priority. As the region's largest sewer utility, we own and maintain thousands of miles of sewer pipes. And our job is to get to your sewer problem before it interrupts your life. So whether you've got a slow drain or a backup, call us first, day or night. The Sacramento Area Sewer District. It's a dirty job, but we're happy to do it. At aimyourdigital.com, we'll help you target the right audience, build your leads, and crush your quota. Take your business to the next level. Our digital marketing strategies help grow awareness of your product or service, all while building trust in your business. Our approach involves leveraging multiple tools and strategies to deliver exceptional results that are customized to your unique business needs. Don't wait to run out of sales leads. Keep your business growing. Get started with AinYourDigital.com today. The weather's warming up, spring is here, and so is road trip season. And if you're saying, yeah, sure, I would love to load everything up in my car and hit the road and go on a long road trip, but I don't trust my car. It's not dependable. Well, then go see my friends at El Grove Kia. They'll get you into something dependable and super affordable, like a brand new 2024 Kia Forte LXS for $19,988. Yep, at a time when the average new car price is over $48,000, El Grove Kia can get you into a brand new car for less than half of that. This car's loaded with automatic transmission and eight inch touchscreen with rear camera. It's got advanced driver assistance system, so it's got tech and safety. And again, this brand new 2024 Kia Forte LXS can be yours for only $19,988. Only at the number one Sacramento Kia dealer, Elk Grove Kia in the Elk Grove Auto Mall and online at elkgrovekia.com. Elk Grove Kia sale price, $20,738. Kia rebate, $750. Net price, $19,988. One at this price, stock number GK9219. Expires March 31st, 2024. Michael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Call or text at 916-339-1140. On Sacktown Sports. I just discovered something else and I don't want to get into it. This is definitely a lot of it. I Chris doesn't Chris has issues with Forrest Gump. I I, I know. I, I have a feeling that's an off-air conversation. I didn't I, every day I feel or like Or we I, could save it for summer. Or so, there you go. Who's summer? Steven, good morning. Good morning. Hi. Dave. Hi. Hey, Jason. Hi. 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 Hey. Hi. Okay. Then. All right. So you had you had Jason do a do a call last week on the air, and I believe it was for uh, it was for some silly basketball folly, and it was uh, it was it was incredible. I thought it was a really good idea, honestly. Well, I thought it was a good thing. I have an idea. Maybe for the summer. Maybe you do it once a week. I don't know. You have you find some funny off the wall basketball play, Jason. You do a you do a live read, play by play on the air because your reaction to uh, to what it was was oh, it was James Harden. It was Kawhi and James. I, I Harden. I forgot yeah. about that. Harden it was hard to love Kawhi and James Harden. Yeah. 
So I feel like that would be kind of like a nice little bit, you know what I'm saying? On the call with Jason Ross. And it's like a little 30 second little snippet. You pull a you pull a clip out of out of nowhere and you're like, all right, three, two, one, Jason, go. And you know, for that. know, just a random idea, dude. Not I, to put you on the spot, J Rock. No, I like it. I'm up for that. I like those things. Yeah, honestly, Steven, I think that's the worst idea I've ever heard. Oh, what? dude, that's rude. No, that just, is I'm, really hey, rude. Steven, you know honestly, who's not rude, by the way? <laughs> Scott Marsh. I got to meet Scott Marsh yesterday, <laughs> and that is by far the nicest human being he I've is. ever met. I just Henry saw him downstairs. Turner is really awesome. Though, high Flyer is great, too. I just saw Scott yeah, downstairs. High Flyer is awesome. He, uh, he, Scott's a, a very nice man. We all enjoy him. Yeah, Steven, that's a, Steven, that's a great idea. Honestly, I think the only challenge there is – that James Harden thing was so unique that I think the best part of the call wasn't your call. It was you My losing reaction. it while you watched it. Yeah, but maybe you could find some random yes. clips and then, yeah. Uh, Chris, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think there's, Random. I bet you there's some Olympics. Because <laughs> <laughs> yes. honest to God, I think it was, was it the Summer Olympics where this happened? To me, to this day, the lasting, most entertaining part of the Olympics of any point of the Olympics was by far Kevin Hart and Snoop Dogg breaking down the horses. <laughs> like that yeah. to me was the funniest thing ever. So maybe we just do our own version. Okay. Are you okay with that? I like that, Steven. Thank you. Thank you, Steven. I'm messing with Steven. Steven's my Facebook, but yeah. Um, Dallas beat the Kings by 36 last night. That matches uh, the, the worst loss of the year. For the Sacramento Kings, uh, there was no pace. The Kings were outscored on the. That, by the way, the, the fact that the Kings were outscored fast break style, not, not that it hasn't happened before. That's another thing you look at and go, well, maybe there was fatigue mm-hmm. there too. Yeah, because that's an area that they've owned Dallas in before. I remember there was a great a back and forth game last year here, but by the end, it did look like Luca and Ky- they were tired. They got tired of the pace and. That wasn't even a factor yesterday. Mike Brown spoke after the game. Uh, I asked him. Uh, Mike you know, Bronze? Mike Bronze, yeah. as it's written here. I uh, asked him about their play and how he felt about it. Our spacing wasn't good. Uh, our pace in the half court wasn't good. Our cutting wasn't good. But the biggest thing is we just would not spray the basketball to save our lives. And to have four sprays against a, a pretty good defense team like that uh, is not good enough. We were one for four in sprays. And – by the time we took our starters out, uh, I think we had a total of 24 threes. And a lot of that had to do because we weren't spraying the basketball. So we we, we obviously weren't good defensively. Luca uh, and, and Kyrie, they were they're great players and they had a lot to do with it. But offensively, um, watching us play tonight, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a little surprised how, how, we, how we played. Okay, first off, we have to have some sort of a thing whenever anybody says spray, because that's like a thing. That's like my favorite thing now. Is it spray threes? Uh-huh. I didn't. I again, I don't remember hearing the term spray threes until this year, maybe last year. Okay, but now it's like everywhere. I think even a media guy, media asked me, members are asking. Like, so uh, the spray. By the way, I wanted to explain to everybody what spray threes were, so I googled it and it says, "Did you mean what are spray trees?" And then it goes into uh, fruit trees. Did we ask Katie that last week? I feel like we did. Yes. Spray, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. It was Brendan. Brendan. What's that? And you asked Brendan about what? Spray threes. There it is. And, and you know what's the best is that it was three. I love that. Let's ask Katie about spray threes. Because I think she says it too. I think this is a made up term that doesn't mean anything. Because I'm a basketball expert. Get into the paint and throw it out for a three pointer. Well, isn't that just to throw it out in the get in the paint and throw it out for a three point? I think, oh, sp- what's what is spraying about that? Why is that a spray three? Because you're spraying the court, spreading out the court. No, <sighs> not no. You want it? You want it? I'm processing it. Well, no, 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 no. I'm just like I'm trying to think. Of, obviously, you're explaining it correctly, and I'm just trying to think like what what made you think that uh, or not you but what made that like oh well okay i'm 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 in the paint and yeah, it used to be kick out threes. yeah kick out three yeah when the hell is spray yeah. when you want did you hear one of us is gurgle one yeah. of us is gurgled really was it you i don't know you like bronze? i heard a gurgle okay <laughs> could have been it was unknowing if it was that yeah, was a gurgle yeah. um 
Yeah, but what happened? To, yeah, oh, it kicks out to, for a three. Uh, it's good. Yeah. Uh, what? Uh, hey, uh, it kicks it up. Kicks it. Now we say kick it out for a spray three. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I feel like he has it in there. A the little squirt gun. Has what? A sounder for when we say uh, spray threes? Yeah. I just wanted to make sure he wasn't squirting a spray gun. <laughs> it is uh, spraying threes. That's <laughs> sounds like something completely, completely different. Uh, the, the, speaking of, the, I don't know what this clip is, but it says they stretched the double team. Here's more of Mike Braun's. <laughs> what they did was when we doubled them, um, they just tried to stretch the double team so that our rotations are longer. And then they just got the ball out and they made one more. You had to rotate They made one more simple pass and because they stretched the double team and our rotations are longer. Now, again, you always talk about, I always talk about the domino effect, our team. Our team sometimes gets into the mode where the guy that has the ball thinks he has to make, an ass- make the assist. And sometimes it's the hockey assist that, kills teams and so tonight when we did blitz they did a great job of of extending uh the double team and we had to because those guys both had it going in certain times of the game but they got it out just simply to the open man and they let that open man make a play when we had to rotate to him and you know you just live with whoever takes a shot at that time and hopefully you're able to get there and contest and and more than that you hope they they miss but if they make shots then at the end of the day you can say hey i'm gonna live with that because we're not letting luca get another 26 in the second half and then kyrie you know get 20 or 30 in in, in the second half himself did they not contest the spray threes i uh, and 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 after, after the double team was stretched so what do we do with the spray chart now because there's twos in there, right? Oh, there's no spray twos. There's no spray twos? No, spray threes. Just spray threes. Yeah. So let me ask you this. If a spray three is when you have it inside and you kick it out, then what happens if you're on the outside and you throw it in? That's that's points in the paint, right? Yeah, it's just but, a post up. Right. It's yeah. a, just a post up, but why why can't we come up with well uh, what's the opposite of spray? That's a gathered two. <laughs> I can't wait for Katie now. I'm actually very excited for it. Yeah, by the way, all right. When I ask the question, will she legit give like an instant legit answer? Oh, David. That Or will it be an, oh, God, you're such an idiot. Oh, my gosh. You're just lame. Yeah, well, right. I, I think she'll give a legit answer, and then when I follow up on something, it's going to be that. I think you lead with the question, but the sound effect of the spray three. So that would say like Katie. It sounds different when you hear the the three the spray three. So so what? That's what I'd say. Well, no, you have to ask her something, but let make sure she hears the the squirt, yeah. <laughs> the spray. <laughs> so yeah, because they're not squirt threes. You could ask her why are they not squirt threes? Yeah, why are they called spray threes, Katie? And then Chris goes, and then and then let her uh, yes. Yeah. Then it depends because Katie. Here's the thing about Katie, and I mean this with love which means I'm going to say something like Katie, you know, those people that their ears turn off when they talk, everyone knows that person where when they're talking, they can't hear anything. So my thing is, is that once the question registers and she gets going, how about this? Let's take another bet. We'll do it just like that. Hopefully she's not listening. Will Katie notice and acknowledge the spray sound effect mm. unfortunately i have a problem of not turning my mic on and often here to where she has heard me talking in the background <laughs> and ignored it. i don't think she's going to notice the spraying i think she will notice it but she'll ignore it kyle madsen and i did a bit once it was right after she had her baby where we Every time we'd reset, we'd ask her a question. We wanted to see how many times we could call her mom without her noticing. And like, it came up as a Facebook memory the other day. We got to 11. And then she finally was like, why are you guys calling me mom? Is this a thing? I don't think she noticed the first 10. I think we just (laughs) accentuated the second one. So she's coming up in uh, 20 minutes. Looking forward to that. Here is Keegan Murray. uh, (laughs) We didn't get enough threes up. Spray or no? I mean, I feel like we didn't get enough threes up. Uh, they kind of took us away from the three-point line. Um, I think they only attempted 20-something, but 
Um, they took away that. Um, and then in the third quarter, they just felt like they got just got whatever they wanted. They call it spray threes instead of kick out threes because you have more than one three point shooter option. So if you if if you're the only guy open on the outside and I get kick it out. to you, that's a kick out three. But if you and Chris are open and spray. I I'm spraying it. Say it. Don't spray. honestly. This sounds like one of those pharmaceutical company things that I don't trust. That's what it is. You know what this is? This is deep basketball. Yeah. Deep cuts. Get MC on this thing. Mm. What what is really good? This might be the one time where he and I team up. What is really you going guys on? will solve? What is solve yeah? This. What if is, you got a problem? MC will solve it. Yeah, check out his hook. Well, his DJ revolves yeah. it. Nice, nice, baby. Uh, we'll take a break. When we come back, we're a little goofy right now. Kings lost. What's hot and who's not? <laughs> and we'll recap three in the key before we get to uh, Katrina Christensen at nine a.m. What I do that right? Oh, that's not how it's spelled. Kings TV analyst Katie Christensen. Spelled the right way. Spelled the right way. Shoot the ball the right way. We'll be right back after this. What's the missing piece for the 49ers? Which names will they add during free agency? Whether it's in-season or off-season, the coverage never stops. Get the latest 49ers news on Sacktown Sports at SacktownSports.com. What's up? We're talking to Chad Hoblet of Hoblet Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. Chad, what's going on for Dodge Power Shot Days? A special sale on the very last of the new 2023 Dodge Charger and Challengers with savings up to 12000 off MSRP. That means you can save up to 33% on some classic American muscle, starting as low as $24,520. do not miss your chance to own a piece of history with the very last of the v8 scat packs wow up to 33 percent off hey that seems impossible we do things a little different here at hoblet we're here to help you find the vehicle you need at the best possible price that's why we don't have a bunch of dealer markups surprise add-ons or fees at hoblet you get the small town experience with the big city savings and selection there's no better time to take advantage of this savings at hoblet see their full selection at hobletdodge.com Unbeatable prices, unbeatable selection. Nobody beats Hoblet, period. 12,000 total net savings after 6330 factory rebates and 5580 dealer discounts. Rebates may include 500 first responder bonus cash. Must be current member of eligible first responder association and California resident. 20th net savings. See dealer for details. Imagine your team always looking and feeling their best in high performance technical workwear. CentOS can make it happen. They have garments for almost every job imaginable. And with the CentOS workwear program, You get freshly laundered garments delivered every week for everyone on your team. Great garments without the bother of laundry. That's a real perk for employees. Find out how CentOS can boost team image and morale. Visit CentOS.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. To thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's dell.com slash deals. Hey guys, do you know your T-Level? Revive Men's Health here in Sacramento is helping you take that first step toward better health and enhanced intimacy with a free testosterone level test, exam, and consultation. Plus, for this month only, qualified patients can kickstart their treatment with a free supply of ED medication. Call Revive Men's Health Sacramento at 916-365-4566. That's 916-365-4566. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. We're going abroad for the first time in years. To Spain. So we started using Babbel. And started learning Spanish fast. With Babbel, you can start having conversations in another language in just three weeks. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? When you learn a language, you want to actually use it. Babbel is designed with that goal in mind. In just three weeks, we're starting to have conversations in Spanish. Gracias, Babbel. Babbel, language for life. Now try Babbel for free at Babbel.com. That's B-A-B-B-E-L dot com. Hey, Boost Mobile here to help you start from scratch. Boost is giving you the chance to win incredible prizes in our latest scratch-off sweepstakes, including up to $5,000 cash with over 7,600 prizes up for grabs. This is an opportunity you don't want to miss. For your chance to win, just head to your local participating Boost Mobile store and ask for a scratcher. It's that easy. So visit a Boost Mobile store today and get after it. Ends 331-24 while supplies last. No purchase necessary. Other restrictions apply. Visit your local Boost Mobile store for details.
Honda's. When you take the time to shop at Folsom Lake Honda, there's one thing you'll always find. Happy people ready to serve you. As a family owned and operated dealership since 2009, customer service is our number one priority. Our customers love doing business with us and you will too. Looking to own or lease? During the spring sales event, drive a brand new Accord or Civic. Visit us today at FolsomLakeHonda.com, your one-stop Honda shop. Folsom Lake Honda. What's hot and what's not? Brought to you by American Energy Heat and Air, making the uncomfortable comfortable. Head to AmericanEnergyAir.com to find out more. What's hot? Yeah, hot. Real hot. And what's not? It's not good. Brought to you by American Energy Heating and Air, Sacramento's complete heating and cooling company and second opinion partner. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Yeah, what's that? Uh, who or what is hot? Anthony Davis. Uh, okay. <laughs> Do I have to go further? Yeah, I guess so. He was 34 and 23, 34 points, 23 rebounds last night in the Lakers 128 to 124 double overtime win over the Bucks. He also did that playing 52 minutes in the game. Woo! Actually got out there and played some. Good for him. Who? Or what is not? I could tell why Dave isn't here right now because he doesn't want to hear what's not. The Kings are not hot. Mm. Yesterday, they were outscored 74 to 43 in the second half. They also shot 32.6% from the field, 25% from three. Yeah, but the Kings were going to get him in the fifth quarter. No? Hello? Anybody? You know how, like, I share everything? Uh-huh. I just had an incredibly... That's why I'm late to the segment. I would say top five most awkward experience I've had in my career. So the M&M situation. If you're just joining us, GM has a gumball machine at M&M's. I bought refills because I eat all the uh, M&M's. So I went downstairs and I refilled the M&Ms. He wasn't in the office. So what I did is I went in there, I opened up the gumball machine. I poured the M&Ms in. There was still about half of the big thing of M&Ms. And I put them right next to the gumball machine. Perfect, right? Nobody's there to see. So they won't see that I'd already eaten a third of the thing of the M&Ms. It just looks like I filled his machine full of M&Ms and left the, left the remainder there. Mm -hmm. Guys, I even took a picture for you guys as to how I left it. Now, I don't know where on the list of things I least would want to happen at that point. I don't know where this sits. But having your GM along with the president of programming for the entire company walk in on you while you're doing that is probably really high on that list. You're busted? The worst kind of busted. The worst kind of but Don't give me that look, Simone. The worst. I'm vulnerable right now. And then we proceeded to have a roundtable conversation. Not the pizza. Re upping the conversation we've had on the radio about the ethics of what I was doing to which the big, big boss, not the big boss, our guy, but the big, big boss I was like, mm, I probably would have taken him home and gotten a new one. But in the end, the fact that you're being open about it is ethical. I was not prepared for that. Everyone's wearing suits and ties and they're all in their best behavior. I thought that, we prepared you for it on this show. I didn't prepare. I prepared for that with our GM who I know I've met this other gentleman, maybe three or four times. He's an incredibly nice man. He's always been very cool to all of us, but I, I don't, I've known the other guy for 20 years. I did not plan on getting busted by like the president of the company. Damn near You're busted darn near. Filling up a thing of M&M's. Now I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little shook about this. I think it went well, Jason. Also. Apparently not. Might be my last day. Yeah. Carmichael Dave fired over unethical M&M practices. Who was hot, by the way? Not me. Anthony Davis was. Eh, whatever. And the Kings were not. Right. Yeah. You missed them both. Sorry. You happy with yourself? 
I'm in. Was it worth it? No. You try to do something nice. So don't eat the M&Ms. Well, no. I, I, that's a good snack after. I, or buy them for yourself. Uh, but I will. You, no. You've because got your food corner. I do. But if I buy. If I. Oh, God. If You've I got a backpack. If I bought a thing of peanut M&Ms and left them here, how long until Kyle Ledbetter has doused the whole thing? Oh, half a day. 90 half, minutes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I, they don't fit in the backpack. It's very, it's a very lunky, large thing. Three in the key. Let's recap it from last note. Did we already do that too? No. You gave him a look. Yeah, I'm a little shook, guys. That's all. And I, 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 I don't know. Kind of the blank stares coming back from you guys. I, I, I don't feel a lot of, uh, you know, we're with you. I feel like there's, less, <laughs> oh, I'm not with there's you. a lot of separation going on here. There's a lot of, we had nothing to do with this. There's a lot of work going to sit on the sidelines and let you uh, twist the line. If I was down there, I would have given the immediate, I'm not part of this at all. (laughs) You would have walked out of there so fast that you would have even been in there in the first place. That's why we were up here. (sighs) I would have said, oh, he's not here? Okay. See you later, Dave. Then we start talking about spray threes. (laughs) Yes. The whole thing. Katie joining us in seven minutes. (laughs) <laughs> all right how do we do last night hopefully better than the case all right our first category we asked for made spray threes yeah no we did no we did uh we had luca and Kyrie points fox and sabonis points davy said luca Kyrie would go for 66 fox sabonis 58 i said 57 49 chris said 54 66 the correct answer was 52 for luca and Kyrie. just 30 for fox and sabonis Take the under. Yeah, stinky. We then asked, with this new and improved defense, which was not there last night, Keon Ellis steals, Alex Len blocks. Davey said four steals, two blocks. I said two steals, one block. Chris said three steals, two blocks. Correct answer was zero steals, one block. (laughs) More like Ellis Continent. His LSI, like, yeah, they were roaming. Yeah, they were, they were like, yeah, a lot of spray threes and no steals. Yeah, whatsoever. It was okay. That was all right. <laughs> and <laughs> then that was <laughs> the random stat. I got me. That yeah, we asked for. Chris said that Luca Doncic would get a technical foul. Did he get one in the first half? No. Oh, okay. Maybe in February. Did he? I don't know. Did he, did he, does it say in the box for him? No, it doesn't. I'll look at NBA. No, I don't, think he I don't think he did either, but for some reason. Someone of the Kings did. Fox. Oh, that Fox is, and That's Monk. what it was. It was, Fox it, and yeah, Monk, yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, I said the Kings will come from 15 points or more behind and win. Well, they you got, were way off. They, they got to that well, point. Well, he was half right. They were yeah. 15 points behind. Or more. Or more. Yeah. They, they just didn't come back and win. Well, hold on. Yeah. What if they win Friday? Exactly. Ah, and come you back didn't and specify win. this game. Right. If they win at any point the rest of the year, you're right. Yes, you're that meme See? of the guy pointing to his head. And Dave, you said PJ Washington would get a 20 point double double. Oh. He technically didn't get 20, yeah. but he had his first double double as a Maverick. So yeah. I think you get that. I, I'm going to take the uh, attaboy know. on that. I'm going to take the attaboy and the pat on the head. I think you get two of the three sprays out of that. 14 points and 13 boards. P.J. Washington, P.J., again, and I said it last night, P.J. Washington, absolutely a member of the Lorenz and Wright All-Stars. And R.I.P. Lorenz and Wright. And if you're not familiar with that, Lorenz and Wright used to just absolutely annihilate the Kings. I think he had multiple 20 rebound games, like annihilated the Kings. but none of those as a King. None of those as a King. And B.J. Washington is one of those guys. There's a few where every time we play, Tim Hardaway Jr., by the way, tends to do pretty well against us uh, as well. We will take a break. When we come back, hopefully I still have a job. Uh, and if I do, we'll talk to Katie Christensen, Kings TV analyst, about uh, all things Kings and more, and spray threes. We'll do all that right after this. Stinky! Did you miss any part of our live local shows? Don't worry. You never have to miss them again. Check out SackdownSports.com and search our podcast page and play our shows when you want. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and The Drive Guys. Plus, other podcasts like Return of the Empire, Return of the Roar, The Stingers Up Podcast, and Golf to Go with Frank LaRosa. They're all available right now on SackdownSports.com. 
Oh, honey, it's our favorite Leaf Filter Trusted Pro, Matt. Matt, come in, come in. Hi, Mrs. Sparks. You wanted me to stop by? Is everything okay with your Leaf Filter Gutter Protection System? Okay, of course, silly. We wanted you to stop by for dinner as our way of thanking you. Yes, to thank you for that free gutter inspection, the free estimate, and uh, what was the other thing? That lifetime guarantee. Well, Mr. and Mrs. Sparks, those are just Leaf Filter's policies. Everyone who calls Leaf Filter gets a trusted pro to come out for a free gutter inspection and estimate. And every Leaf Filter installation comes with a lifetime guarantee. So it's... It's not just us? No, sir. We don't want anyone to worry about clogged gutters ever again. You mean everyone gets this level of service? Everyone. They just need to visit leaffilter.com slash CBS to schedule their free inspection. Okay, okay, but you must be starving. You work so hard. Ready to love your gutter protection as much as we do? Visit leaffilter.com slash CBS and get up to 30% off today. See representative for warranty details. Promotion is 20% off plus a 10% senior or military discount. One discount per household. Hi, everyone. It's Emron Pilati, the host of the True Sports Card Show here on Sacktown Sports 1140, Saturdays at 10 a.m. I'm excited about our second location at the Roseville Galleria as True Sports Cards continues our expansion. And to celebrate this day, we're excited to announce that Kevin Herter from the Sacramento Kings will be signing autographs on March 30th at 3 p.m. You can get your tickets for this event right now by going to truesportscards.com, searching Kevin Herter in the search bar, and buying your ticket. Limited tickets are available, so please go to the website, truesportscards.com and get your Kevin Herter tickets right now. It's time to trade in and trade up at Northern California's number one Honda dealer, Stockton Honda. Whether you're shopping new or pre-owned, Stockton Honda has the selection and savings. Plus, get top dollar for your trade. Come in today or go to StocktonHonda.com. It's all a click away. Anytime, anywhere, it's all here. Start Number one claim based on 2022 total new and Honda certified pre-owned vehicle car sales from American Honda Motor Company's own one report. At aimyourdigital.com, we'll help you target the right audience, build your leads, and crush your quota. Take your business to the next level. Our digital marketing strategies help grow awareness of your product or service, all while building trust in your business. Our approach involves leveraging multiple tools and strategies to deliver exceptional results that are customized to your unique business needs. Don't wait to run out of sales leads. Keep your business growing. Get started with AimYourDigital.com today. The Arnold Law Firm has seen how an injury can turn anyone's life upside down. Whether it's a slip and fall, a car accident, or any other kind of injury. For almost 50 years, the Arnold Law Firm has been here to help you through the entire process to protect you and your family. If you are ever injured or in an accident, call the Arnold Law Firm. The Arnold Law Firm, providing real justice for you since 1975. Call 916-777-7777. That's 916-777-7777. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Brantley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jake Owen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park, May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by Fiddy and Fiber, Dawson Oil Company, and Good Guys Heating and Cooling. Looking for the ultimate sports bar experience in Sacramento? We'll look no further. Fieldhouse American Sports Pub, family owned and operated, serving up mouth watering food that'll keep you coming back for more. Voted as the number one sports bar in Sacramento, your go to spot for catching all the big games. Swing by their convenient location at 1310 Fulton Avenue or order online for pickup or delivery. Don't miss out on the action. Fieldhouse American Sports Pub, where every game is a winning experience. KHTKAM Sacramento, KYMX HD2 Sacramento. From the Power Business Technology. Technology Toshiba Studios, your flagship station for the Beam Team. Should we light the beam? Light the beam, baby. Sacktown Sports, 1140. The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song, and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone. And then boom. With Jason Ross. No, he did it. Yes, he did. Call or text at 916-339-1140. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on Sacktown Sports. Yeah. Hey, yeah, good plans this weekend? Uh, well, Kings Friday and Sunday. College hoops, Major League Baseball. Oh, hey, tomorrow's uh, the, day. 
And uh, in the Sweet 16 back? Yes. Yeah. Opening day. Yeah. Are you excited? I am. I am a baseball fan. You man. are. You are. I like baseball. It's going to be. Uh, I can admit it. I, I go to or, meetings. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, Baseball Anonymous. Uh-huh. I think I. I'm making it very public, though. I think I will submit this. I think that uh, once the basketball season ends, I think the name of the show should be changed to the Jason Ross Show with Carmack. Okay. I'm going to be writing your back. Jason Ross with Frankie Cardicelli. Yeah. Yeah. He and I will do Yankee talk. Uh, Jay Ross and Frankie clicks mornings. And I'll just, I'll, I'll do something easy like promotions for the summer. Okay. One eight hundred nine two zero. Shots Simone everywhere. Was, Simone was right there. Come on. Unnecessary shots fired. Speaking of shots. Join us. Shameful performance. Join us right now. The uh, analyst. Beer Sacramento Kings uh, back in the country now. Uh, the one, yeah. the only, the talented, Katie Christensen. Good morning, Katie. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Hey, how are you? I'm all right. How are you guys? Yeah, it's all right. Hey, by the way, I just realized when I said I'll be writing your back this summer, like yeah, that know. implies that you're writing my back otherwise. And I didn't mean it like that. I meant like it's a 50-50 thing, but then like when I'm really going to be, you're the baseball fan. You didn't take it like that, did you? No. Okay, good. All right. Hi, Katie. <laughs> Glad you guys got that sorted out. You know, that's how that's how issues start, Katie. You got to nip them in the bud. You know what I'm saying? You can't let them fester. Oh, of course. Hey, uh, what's a spray three? Why? And why is this a... Is it... Wait, I, I'm sorry. I lost you there. What is a spray three? Uh, a spray three is when you touch the paint with the dribble and then you kick out for a three. Is this or a new word? It can be an offensive rebound or kick out for a three. So yeah, is it's it, kind of new. It's a, it's kind of newer terminology. Um, I'm hearing this a lot. It, yeah, it's cra- it's it's definitely a very common term now. But you know, it used to just be like a kick out three, right? Yeah. So it's a ki- So it's just a new way of new saying term. a kick out three. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, okay. I, I guess that kind of you just don't like the term spray three. It's I not think. that I don't. It, it's not that I don't like it. It's that it's new. It's new, and I hear it everywhere now. And it made me angry at first because I'm like, I don't know what that is. I feel stupid, and then I know what it is, and I'm like, well, that's a kick out three. Like, are we just arbitrarily changing terminologies? Like, yeah. is an alley oop someday well, going to be a zipsy there's, doodle? There's so many different things that have changed. Like even like coverages, right? Like you hear us say up to the level a lot. Um, like there used to be things like hedge, um, hedge. so like all of that stuff, you know, you hedge the screen, right? What's that? Um, Tell everybody what hedging hedge, the screen is. Hedging the screen was just like basically being up to the level, which is like when the screen is set, um, instead of being like in that drop where the, the player can go, uh, your, your defensive, you know, teammate can go under, you kind of hedge so that you're level with, uh, the guy setting the screen. Does that make sense? Instead yes. of being in the drop, like either several steps back, which we talk about all the time, or even just dropped back enough for them to go underneath uh, the screen, but over the top of you. Like there's so many different terminologies that has changed over the years. And it's, it's frustrating to me too. It is because a lot of times I'm like, wait, what are they, what are they calling that now? <laughs> you know? hmm, right. And Jason also hedging the screen. I think it was a Coen brothers movie in the nineties. It was a sequel to waiting for Guffman. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Did, Owen did. Wilson was in it. It was. It was. It was okay. Yeah. Uh, Katie, what would be your terminology <laughs> for the loss last night? Disappointing. I mean, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I had a migraine yesterday and didn't feel well, so Ooh. I went to bed early and I had a couple. I'm like, I have a couple days to watch it, and um, watch it. you know, saw the I saw the watch score. It. Didn't migraine watch will come back, dude. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Don't. No, I mean, listen, like there's, there's certain things like I can tell you, like the schedule recently has been really brutal and you know, it's like five games in seven days. And I thought they played really, really well coming back against Philly, the first game back home after a road trip. And like, we landed on Sunday at three 30 in the morning, you know, and then you've got, you kind of to adjust to the time zones you've been free from, you know, Toronto to DC to Orlando, then back to Sacramento. And, um, there's, you know, I say it quite a bit, like sometimes you play the schedule, sometimes the schedule plays you, um, tough back to back, you know, Dallas, you know, in the same situation, they just 
obviously, you know, I, I, I will say this. If you don't have, you know, multiple guys in the starting lineup, like scoring at a high level, like that's not a big night for De'Aaron. That's not a big night for Domas. Like you just, you're, you're completely, you know, putting yourself in a situation where it's going to be hard to win games, Mm -hmm. especially against an offense like, you know, Dallas that has the ability to, to have multiple 20, 30 point scores. Katie joining us. So Katie, and let me, let me get through this. Don't get mad. So full disclosure, I, when we, at the top of the show, when I announced, uh, you know, what was coming up on the show and that you join us at nine. I said, and Katie will join us and make excuses about the schedule. Yeah. But let me finish. Then I spent the entire show talking about how playing five games in seven nights, including an international game, is actually, if not an excuse, seriously a factor. It, it has to be a factor in why they were with them the whole first quarter. They were down five and a half and then just get absolutely toasted by a team they were 2-0 and o against. Granted, a little bit of a different team, but 2-0 and o against earlier this year that that lines up with fatigue. So I, I, I was having fun with you, but also agree that – and I, I, I want you to – because, look, we're not trying to do the whole moral loss, excuse, excuse, bloody blah thing. But seriously, and I ask you to do this sometimes because you are there. You are on the road. Yes, you're on a private plane. Yes, you're in a five-star hotel. Yes, you guys are, are you know, you, you travel differently with NBA teams than you would if you and I were flying to Phoenix with Melissa to play golf. Like, we get that. But w- without hanging on as an excuse, just do me a favor and just describe why it's different and why it's taxing doing five games in seven nights? Well, you know, the travel is a component, right? Time zones, that type of thing. Um, Schedule. It's just like your sleep schedules. And I'm going to be completely honest, you guys, like I'm so depleted right now at this point in the season. Like I'm barely hanging on trying to function to get through the last like few weeks of the season and, and really hoping and praying that the Kings land in six just so that I can get some time off to like, just feel like a normal human being. So when you, when I'm, you know, being honest and and saying that, like, can you imagine how the players feel? Like it's, they're the ones physically going out and having to perform and having to mentally plan and prepare for games and have the, the, you know, focus and attention to detail. And, you know, it's, it's crazy. Like I've heard a lot of talk of strength of schedule kind of coming down the stretch and stuff like that. And I believe the Kings are third toughest schedule remaining. Um, but they've had the third toughest schedule in the league since day one of this season. So you can break it up in different parts and say, oh, well, this stretch and da 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 and so on and so forth. The reality is like they've played a really, really brutal. And that's just the, you know, that's just how the cookie crumbles, if you will, in the NBA. And, you know, I, I'm always very hesitant to make what are termed as, you know, quote unquote excuses. Um, it's not an excuse. It's a factor, That's right? And said. it's a very, it, it's a very real thing. Yeah. And, you know, you look at Boston the other day, like what are sports talk radio guys in Boston saying after their loss? You know what I mean? Like it happens to everyone. No one plays a perfect season. That's why no one's ever gone to 82 and O, um, you, you know, like what the Warriors did several years ago, like that was crazy and an anomaly and all of these things. And so I understand, especially at this point in the season, um, just how demoralizing a loss like last night can be. Um, but, you know, there's a there's a couple of things where you have you have uh, one more against Dallas. You've got one more against New Orleans who you have not performed against. And so I, and I believe there's one more against Phoenix. Yeah. Um, and, you know, Dallas and Phoenix are teams that, you know, the Kings are kind of in that hunt with um, back and forth with the six to the eighth, six to the eighth, so on and so forth. Um, and, you know, New Orleans is a team that is, has completely dominated and owned you. So you have an opportunity, but it's, it's stressful and there's a lot of anxiety, right? Like you can quote unquote control your own fate. Um, but it's, you know, you still have to play out the schedule and just kind of, you know, where you land is where you land. Yeah. Talk with Katie Christensen, Kings TV analyst. Katie, um, last night, again, just another reminder when you see opposing teams in person and you'll get to see him again on Friday. Uh, there's so many great players in this league and they're great for different reasons. 
whether it's, you know, just the other night, Tyrese Maxey, a really good player. And you can just see his quickness, how it's really tough to stay in front of him. Last night, there's a guy like Luca who is so unique to me where there's nothing in the flashy part of his game. The athletic ability is not the quickest. We all know that doesn't jump the highest, but his overall skill and his ability to, to make it look incredibly easy. I mean, he can get his shot with double coverage. He can throw it a pass in the shot pocket of a, of a offensive player. I mean, you know, he can be frustrating to watch as someone I think that complains a lot, but appreciating his skill set, I, I, I kind of marveled at him last night. I, I just think he's absolutely incredible. That's not an earth shattering statement, but I just love your appreciation or your thought. And when you watch Luca play, what makes him so good? So we talk a lot about athleticism in this league and, you know, that's an advantage for some people and some people don't have that, you know, explosive athleticism, but it doesn't mean that they're not a tremendous talent, right? Like Luca falls into that ca category. Uh, Nikola Jokic falls into the, that category. Like with the eye test, if you will, like you look at them and they're like, Oh, they're, they're slow. They don't have great lateral movement. Like they're kind of, you know, but they have like they have size. Size is a big thing, and they have a tremendous fundamental like skill set. And this is not a new revelation for them. They weren't athletic, and then all of a sudden they're not athletic. So they've been trying. You know, you you have your particular skill set, and over the course of your career, you fine tune those things to how you can gain an advantage. You know, given what you're working with, and you know, Luke is a tough one for me because you know if I have my top five list of players that I I cannot stand watching he's on that list but I a hundred percent can say he is a phenomenal talent right to me it's some of the other things to watch right it is the complaining it is that kind of stuff um and then from a player perspective there's games there's been so many games where I'm like wow it that's the type of player that probably I wouldn't have liked to play with you know because you can go stretches of of a quarter and feel like you're not even involved in the offense like you're not contributing you're just basically there to to get rebounds and you know kick it out and let him go at it again so um you know and the, the really puzzling thing right with him is that we can all say that he's an all-star that he's a phenomenal player um the numbers he puts up are insane um but like the one thing he hasn't gotten yet is he hasn't won at a high level and so that's a knock. And like, how do you not win with Luca and Kyrie? Like um, there's, there's things like that where you're, you're kind of sitting back and it's puzzling. Um, and because he is the face of the franchise, like a lot of that criticism um, is going to fall on him. Right. So, you know, I think it's still technically an exper an experiment in Dallas you know, and it's, you can look at Trey young is the same way, you know, you can look all throughout the league at players that are just really fantastic, but Ball like, in my say that again. No, go ahead. It was Chris accidentally hit the wrong button. Go ahead. Continue your it's thought. Like they're fantastic. And they're, you know, it's like, you can say, wow, they're, they're amazing, amazing NBA players, but why, why can't they win? Why isn't their team winning? Why can't they put people around them that win? Katie Christensen joining us. I am going to reach into my pocket and throw out a massive curveball right now because this is a developing story, and I can't think of anyone better to have on with us right now for this story uh, than you, Katie. Uh, TMZ is reporting, and TMZ, if we know anything, 100% of the time gets things right. That in the WNBA last year, the highest paid player was Erica Wheeler at $242,000. That's a couple grand more than uh, Sabrina Ionescu and some of the other uh, highest paid players in the, N in the WNBA. I say that for context because TMZ is reporting now that Ice Cube has offered $5 million to Caitlin Clark to play in his three-on-three -three league this season. $5 million wow. for the season. She's expected to go number one in the draft to uh, Indiana. Her contract with Indiana is expected to be slightly higher than the, the, the 242, but certainly not in the $5 million range. Apparently, there's like two big three games that would conflict with Indiana games this season. But now all of a sudden, she has the opportunity, to, you know, not counting endorsements or anything, but, but to make... Uh, 25 times more in one season than 
uh, than, than she would make in the WNBA. Katie, if you're Caitlin Clark, and obviously for those of you who don't know, Katie played in the WNBA. She's not just an analyst. She's also an athlete. If you're Caitlin with all this going on, obviously she'd be playing with all the men. That would be a whole thing as well. Would you either A, take, I'll give you three choices. Take the deal, force Indiana to, you know, let you take the games off to play. B, skip a year, uh, take the deal, and then Indiana secures your rights. Or C, don't sign the deal, don't screw around with the, the, the big three and go to the WNBA. That's a really tough question. Uh, um, I feel like it's not, though, but uh, you'll tell us yeah, why it so, is. Yeah, so obviously, you know, money is a factor in the WJ. <laughs> yeah. it, it, it always has been. And um, I don't think it's ever, it's never going to be on equal, you know, playing field with the, the NBA. First of all, it's a much shorter season, so you consider it like half of the NBA season, right? A little bit under. Um, and so, you know, okay, well, does that mean over a course of an 82 game season that they would be making, you know, 600,000 or 550,000 or whatever it is. Right. Um, it's still so, so different. I mean, you look at just the bonus alone for players that played in the, in the in season tournament this year, which was an experiment, like the bonus alone for that, for the, the team that won, it was like a million a piece, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so it's like, it's, it's, it's crazy when you think of that. And so I think there's this component of it where the three on three thing is almost like a little and one tour type thing, you know, like I I think it comes down to the athlete in particular, like do they want to play basketball or do they want to kind of play in something that is a little bit more of a circus type, you know, entertainment um, venue. With generation, with generation. And by the way, just to underscore your point, I'm looking it up here. So the vet minimum, which escalates for every year of service, the vet minimum in the NBA for one year of service is $1.8 million. Yeah. The WNBA operates under a team salary cap of $1.46 million divided amongst 11 or 12 players. Now we're not getting into salary equity and that's a whole different Donahue point being just underscoring your point, Katie and Jason, that, This is generational wealth. This is more than she can make in 25 seasons in the NBA. And on top of that, I got to think it's not going to hurt her endorsement deals. Yeah. So it's, it's crazy. I mean, like, I think a lot of people that think in terms of just money alone, like, yeah, absolutely. You take that, you, you, you take that deal. Um, The WNBA is never going to allow you to do both. Um, It comes down to, you know, we're making this investment quote unquote in you you play for our team. Um, if, if you're not available or you get hurt doing that, like how does that impact, you know, our, it's a money-making thing for the franchise. Right. But here's the thing, like you look at Caitlin Clark and I'm sure you guys have seen the lines, like just stretching for hundreds and hundreds of yards outside of buildings for people to get in and see Caitlin Clark play in college basketball. Right. Yes. And outselling the men's tournament right yep. now, not yes. men are getting better ratings. I saw that yesterday. Women. I think the pricing uh, was something like four times what the men were. Wow. So you're seeing a lot of growth there. Yeah. So you can see what a player like that brings to a franchise. Right. And it's like, okay, there's been several players in the WNBA recently that are, you know, look at what happened, you know, at the three point competition in the, in the NBA this year. Like there are a lot of eyes on particular players in the WNBA and the talent in the WNBA has grown exponentially since I played, you know, almost 20 years ago. Right. And you cannot deny that the product is better, but I'm telling you this right now, the salary has not, gone up very much since I played. And that's the puzzling thing to me because you, you have to believe that these TV contracts, that the endorsements, the Jersey sales, like Indiana, if Caitlin Clark goes there and plays there, they're going to make so much money just off of her Jersey sales. She's not going to touch a fraction of it. And so it kind of is, is reminiscent to me a little bit of the NIL money with, college basketball 
you know, and, you know, I don't know if anyone's seen the Fab Five documentary, the ESPN 30 for 30, the I hate Christian Leitner thing, which always is a, is a, you know, kind of a topic that comes up during the NCAA tournament, one of the most hated players in college basketball. Um, like you look at that and there was, and this relates to Sacramento in the sense that, you know, Chris Weber, when he was, was there, that Fab Five group, Jalen Rose talks about it in the documentary, um, you know, media members that were close to that group talk about Chris Weber being like, I, I, I don't have, like, can I borrow money for a slice of pizza? Right. Like, it's crazy how much money Nike made off of them, the college made off of them, and they don't touch it. So the, the NCAA has addressed that with the NIL money. But I still think when it comes to women's professional basketball in the WNBA, there's a huge lag there. And so I don't know if this offer from Ice Cube is going to be the factor that shifts things and, and says, OK, we have to we have to allow you know, higher salaries. We have to figure out something because now we have competition on our soil. Yeah. And this isn't just like, you know, Diana Taurasi, who I played with in, in Phoenix. And from the moment she left college, she came to the WNBA. Then she immediately went overseas and started playing in Russia. And she played year round for over a decade with no break. Like NBA players don't do that. It is it, the tax that it puts on your body is unreal you know and so but it wasn't a direct competition and she did one year like you had professional teams overseas saying we'll pay you x amount of money a million two million to not play in the WNBA this season and just take a break let your body heal like and it's also a thing of like when you're playing constantly because i did it there's no there's literally no time for actual skill development because you're constantly practicing, you're constantly playing games, you're constantly managing your body. So there's really not a whole lot of time to where you can break down and work on a skill set and say, hey, I'm going to do this for two weeks. I'm going to do this for a month. This is what I'm trying to get better at. It's like a grind and you're playing. So the now that you have, you know, the three on three um, league and Ice Key willing to offer up money, now they have actual competition on their home soil simultaneously at the same time that their season is going on. So will this offer be the thing that kind of breaks the dam and says, Hey, some stuff has to change or else, you know, we're going to lose some, some players that are massive money makers for this league. Well, we got to go. And that's a hell of an answer. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying she's got to take the money. Screw it. Well, WNBA has no leverage. They have no leverage, yeah, right? She gets so many endorsements now, too. It's not $5 million worth, but... I'm saying she But that's can, if you're doing it for money. I'm saying she can take the endorsements. She can break some barriers, get paid $5 million, play 12 games or whatever in the big three, and then... But I'm going to say this. It's a, such an individual thing, Dave, yeah. because every... I don't know Caitlin Clark from Adam, right? Like, mm -hmm. But what I do know about her and what I've seen in the coverage, like she has always, from her childhood, been an ultra-competitive yes. person. And so to play in a three on three league in her mind, is that, is that match? Is, is that something that's alluring to her or is it like playing against the men? Your, yeah. In the three on no, three but, league, but it's not, it's not like, it's not the same as quote. I, and this is sounds terrible, but it's not the same as real basketball. And I'm not, I don't know how to word it. No, I, I hear you. You're right. Meaning to You're the right. league, but it's not the same. Yeah. Maybe and she so wants to be the I best WNBA player yeah. ever. Yeah, maybe she has goals that, that she's like, I want to break all of these records. I want to mm -hmm. break Diana's records. I want to do that. You know, like, I don't know her personally to be able to say one way or the other, mm -hmm. like, what motivates her? Well, I actually, it's funny. My cousin grew up with her, and I do know her, <laughs> and I think she's going. I know her really, really well. You heard it here. I heard, yes. heard it here first. Breaking news. <laughs> all right, Katie, thank you so much. Uh, good talk all the way around, and uh, get some rest, make some dog food, and uh, have fun on Friday. All right, bye. Bye. Uh, honestly, I got to go. Yeah. Uh, we got to go, but that's. I think that's an incredibly fascinating story, and I think. I think. If I'm Caitlin Clark's family, regardless of what decision she makes, you're you're celebrating right now. Like, how cool is that? You're celebrating.
because you're already celebrating Ram Truck Month going on right now at Hoblet Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Woodland. And uh, you can celebrate with the biggest savings of the year on new 2024 Ram 1500 Laramie Limited. Now, I can barely believe it, but right now you can save up to 16 grand off MSRP on one of America's most loved trucks. Yeah, sixteen grand off MSRP. There's new cars out there you can buy for sixteen grand, and that's what's off at Hoblet. And they have California's biggest selection of Ram trucks, over five hundred available. Big savings, big selection. That's what has made Hoblet California's number one Ram truck dealer. So if you're looking for a truck, Hoblet should be your first and only stop to get the truck you need and the price you want. See their full selection at HobbitDodge.com. Unbeatable prices. Unbeatable selection. Nobody beats Hoblet, period. True Sports Card Show. Aaron Pilati, who shows up each and every weekend and joins us on Thursdays. Here's a tease for you. <clears throat> How can Kevin Herter sign autographs? No idea. But we'll find out. We'll update on that. Or uh, we won't, depending on my- Quiet <laughs> might want to know next. Spring is here. Fresh cut grass. The crack of the bat. And that means opening day of the Major League Baseball season. Join us Thursday at 7 for the Oakland A's home opener. Now it turns. Here it is. And it's a ground ball toward third. Riley has got it. Bobbles it. Picks it up. Throws to the plate. Hit too late. And the A's have won it. It's the A's and Cleveland Guardians. Thursday at 7 in the season opener on Sacktown Sports. Hey, it's Carmichael Day for American Energy Heating and Air with a question. Have you recently had a technician diagnose your HVAC system? You were a bit surprised at how much it cost, or did something seem off about their quote? Because at American Energy, they take pride in giving you honest, straightforward solutions to get that system up and running. Have their qualified technicians come out and give you a free second opinion. It's free. You got nothing to lose but some dollars off of that original quote. They're making the uncomfortable comfortable. They've been doing it since 1981, serving the greater Sacramento area. A-plus with the Better Business Bureau. That's why they keep having customers coming back for more and more and more. You can call them and set that appointment at 916-520-9990. That's 916-520-9990 or AmericanEnergyAir.com. On the move? Got somewhere to be? Take Sacramento Kings basketball with you. The Sackdown Sports app will let you stay connected to your passion. Never miss a moment of Sacramento Kings basketball with the Sacktown Sports app. Capital Casino has been serving the greater Sacramento area in the same convenient downtown location for over 20 years with plenty of close-by, well-lit parking monitored by security staff and offering the most variety of table games in the region in a safe and friendly environment. Best food, best service, and the best action, that's Capital Casino. For more information on tournaments and gaming, check out their website at capital-casino.com. And please remember to gamble responsibly, 1-800-GAMBLER. Hey, guys, do you know your tea level? Revive Men's Health here in Sacramento is helping you take that first step toward better health and enhanced intimacy with a free testosterone level test, exam, and consultation. Plus, for this month only, qualified patients can kickstart their treatment with a free supply of ED medication. Revive's customized ED treatments can provide immediate results, restore blood flow naturally, and even bring spontaneity back into your love life. With both in-person and telemedicine appointments available, plus free shipping directly to you, Revive takes the hassle out of treating low T and ED. Having an optimal testosterone level can change your whole life, and it starts with knowing your T level. Take that first step and book your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. And kickstart your treatment with a free supply of ED medication this month only. Call Revive Men's Health Sacramento at 916-365-4566. That's 916-365-4566 or visit revivemenshealth.com. 
elevate your golf game at Timber Creek Golf Course in Roseville. Just named to the prestigious Golfer's Choice 2024 Top 25 Public Golf Courses in all of California by Golf Pass, Timber Creek offers an unparalleled experience. Our revamped practice facility features a grass driving range, expanded putting greens, and a chipping area complete with sand traps. Whether you're a pro or just starting your golf journey, Timber Creek is the place to be. Visit us and discover why we're the talk of Sacramento and beyond. Unwind and tee off at Timber Creek Golf Course. Discover your dream home at Subcontractors United, your source for all home improvement needs. A talented team of home services experts is ready to make your projects a breeze. No more endless internet searches. Find your contractors in one place. Enjoy stress-free service absolutely free with no hidden costs and no accounts to set up. Transform your living space into something extraordinary. Visit Subcontractors United today and experience the joy of hassle-free home improvement. Dream big at subcontractorsunited.com. This is for the men who never settle, the ones who believe only quitters and a game and a tie, the type of guys who choose the bar with the biggest TVs to overcompensate for theirs at home, and the men who use PTO to catch afternoon basketball in March with the boys. This is the Lodge mentality. This is Twin Peaks. Who wants to settle for a single TV? With more TVs, bigger screens, plus our fabulous scenic views, there's more to watch at Twin Peaks. The Amish have a reputation for craftsmanship, determination, and quality. Hi, this is Frank LaRosa with a word about Naturewood Home Furnishings. You know, those virtues sound quite similar to the Keys family and the day-to-day values on display at Naturewood. The Amish furniture craftsmanship begins with the finest hardwood, shaping and molding the raw materials into one-of-a-kind art. In addition to the classic styles long sought and revered by discriminating furniture lovers, Naturewood Home Furnishings offers a vast selection that includes transitional, modern, farmhouse, arts and crafts, and other stunning styles all available in the ultimate Amish standard of excellence built over centuries. All Naturewood Amish furniture is on sale right now for a limited time. Let the Naturewood team guide you through their selection of Amish furniture that will be with you forever. Naturewood Home Furnishings off Highway 50 at Hazel. Look for the water wheel. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Call or text at 916-339-1140. On Sacktown Sports. Welcome back. Dave, Jason, Ron Pilati. Most of the sports car, uh, true sports card show every weekend right here on the Sporty 1140. And uh, joins us, talk a little bit about the business of cards. And uh, I, I know I kind of sucked you into this whole thing without talking to you first, <laughs> but uh, since I did mention uh, our good friend uh, Kevin, and you you exclusively announced on the show here yes. last week. Grand opening, grand closing. Here's where we're at. Yeah. Uh, Kevin's injury is pretty severe. Yeah. When I first watched it, um, I got a text message in the, our group chat that said, Kevin, uh-oh, that's all it said. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't watching it. I went quickly to see what happened online, and I thought he actually broke his his. Uh, that's what arm. a lot of people do. Because it got floppy. Yeah, it looked yeah, floppy. Yeah, yeah. Then when you look back and now know that it was his shoulder injury, yeah. you could see it kind of like protruding out a little bit. Yeah. Um, I've had my shoulder dislocated, and it was the most excruciating pain I've ever had in my life. Yeah. Um, with that said, we had a scheduled signing this weekend at the Galleria which was going to be Saturday. Unfortunately, yeah. uh, after talking to Kevin's agent yesterday, um, they do have to postpone the the signing. Is, it's pretty significant. Is it, in, is it because he's soft? <laughs> wow. Should we text uh, him? As yeah. my friend, Kevin, Hurt. red velvet yeah. velvet is also yeah. soft. Yes. Like what are we doing? No, in all seriousness, it's, that's tough. It's tough. He can sign left-handed. He, well, he is left. He is right-handed. So yeah. it's his left shoulder. Could he sign? Yes, but here's, but here's the thing. I, I don't know what they're planning on doing with yeah. the rehab, but yeah. I will share this that, um, I certainly don't want to have one of our fans yeah. get excited to see him, yeah. bump into his shoulder, oh, God. and the dude's out for way longer. Yeah. Like that's a real, like, yeah, yeah. So yeah. when when you basically reschedule it, hopefully, and have him come back when we, we his shoulder isn't hurt. Yeah, right. we have the Sacramento Autograph Expo that's happening May 17th through the 19th yeah. in the Roseville Fairgrounds, and we already have Malik Monk there. I was told by the agent that our sh- we're we're shooting to have Kevin at that one, okay. depending okay. on his rehab. So yeah, gotcha. we'll keep you guys informed. But those that bought tickets to the event, I'll be refunding all 
all day today and tomorrow the okay. next day but yeah. you know, it's just when when you have the opportunity to meet a player up close and you're that close to doing it yeah. and you bought tickets and you're excited and just to have it fall apart um it's tough but at the same time they are humans. I think everybody yeah. understands yeah. for sure. And, and Kevin's a great guy. And everyone got to know him on this show last year. And I'm sure he, uh, he will make good on that as soon as it's not like he's happy about it. He'll, right. uh, he'll make good on that as soon as possible. Sure. Now, if the next time you announce a Kings player signing on this program, <laughs> who would you like me to, uh, would I, you like me to announce? No. Let's, let's yeah, exactly. Maybe, maybe we start G league and work our way up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. the playoffs no are coming up. We just want to make sure. Yeah. What's that guy? Camacho. Yeah, yeah exactly. we'll talk about Camacho. Right. <laughs> um, you probably heard us at the end of the last segment with Katie talking about uh, the WNBA and potentially what it's going to be for someone like Caitlin Clark. Yep. Uh, WNBA cards and pricing and all that stuff has become more of a thing. Where, where's Caitlin Clark in the scheme of things as far as collecting? So, strangely enough, Caitlin Clark um, is probably top five hottest athlete, mm -hmm. male or female, in collecting right now. Okay. And strangely Again, strangely enough, she was a Fanatics exclusive, meaning Tops had her, Bowman had her in the products, autographs. And she just recently signed with Panini, which was, you know, a shock. Why did Fanatics not lock her up? So now she's no longer going to be part of Fanatics next year, and she's going to be signing with Panini. Now, why would she do that? Why would she walk away from the largest entity in sports um, memorabilia? Well, it comes down to the fact that the NBA, the MLB, and the NFL are moving to Fanatics in the next two years. Right. But you know who's not moving? Uh, WNBA. There you go. So they're staying with Panini. So why would she go sign somewhere outside of where her mm -hmm. bread and butter is going to be at? If everybody's moving to Fanatics, does that mean that, like, I don't know, Don Russ can't do baseball cards anymore or whatever? Like, they're, only Fanatics can? Or no logos? Well, yeah. well, they're currently doing that. Panini, Don Russ is under Panini. Okay. And in that example... They have all the players because they have the players association, Yeah, but they don't have the logos or the actual MLB. So it's uh, Los Angeles with Shohei Otani. It's Los Angeles with Trout. So are gone, gone or are the days gone? Like you and I growing up, it was, it was, you know, tops was the one for me. Uh, you had the Fleer rated Fleer. rookies, right? Wasn't it Fleer? Don Russ, what Don Russ rated rookies. Or Don and Russ still rated exist. rookies. What was Fleer? Did Fleer have something like rated? I don't know what it was. Future stars, whatever the hell it was. But you had Don Russ, Fleer, and Tops. I mean, to the point where like we'd actually make fun of each other in elementary school and be like, "Oh, that's like the GoBots of cards." Like you had this <laughs> GoBots versus Transformers. Yeah, yeah, that's an old yeah. person. Yeah. Uh, then Upper Deck came in. Oh my god! Uh, yeah, Upper Deck. Who what the hell is guys? this? Like, are those days gone now? Well, there's so many brands. Yeah. And there are so many uh, subsets. Yeah. And there are color parallels of everything, and everything's numbered. I mean, it's just to the point where. I do this for a living and I don't even know what some of this stuff is. Mm. It's like, what, what I have to go to the younger guys in my team and go, what variation is that? Yeah. Oh, that's the peacock. What? Are you serious? Right. And that's legit. The Dave, gold I'm not prism peacock Co two of two. Yes. Yeah. I don't. Right. How, when there's eight different one of ones, how exclusive is the one of one? Right. Yeah, that's right. right. So there's, it's just a, a, a mess, but there's so many people collecting that they don't mind waiting through the mess. Could Jason start his own? Could Jason, if he had the money, I'm well, we all do. Oh, no, he does. Right, yeah. he does. Whether he chooses to. Right, but could, if I chose Could Jason start uh, a trading card company? Could he make yeah. his own Don Just Russ? no logos, no it? teams. No, but could, I mean, I'm asking like. Maybe Don Ross. Are these, oh, Don Ross, there you <laughs> oh, go. That's, that's well done. Are, is all that stuff locked up? Or could he get the license from the Players Association, get the li license from MLB, NBA, whatever? And like, are is there still room for people to come in and start a new upper deck or a Don Ross or have fanatics locked all that up exclusively. They've locked it up because, because of the players association. Yeah. If you don't have the players, you can make all the trading cards in the world for uh, the Cincinnati reds. But who would you put on there? Stick figures. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Those made Drawing up names for that one now, video game. Yeah. Now when it comes to the players association, that's active. Yeah. That's active. So if they went and did something with retired, no problem. Okay. So if they wanted to go get Pete Rose and, and Jason said, hey, Pete, will you do a deal with me? And, Pete, you know, Pete's going to say yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, so he pays right. Pete. So he could do a retired players ah. grouping, but he, it's not necessarily that. How about uh, Shohei in the news this week? Any sure damage thing. to his cards? I know we're, we're kind of close, but I want to let you know just real quick. Uh, we'll be talking about it this weekend on our show at, on Saturday at 10 a.m. here on Sacktown Sports 1140. Um, Shohei has not seen any damage. Mm. Like, wow. legitimately. I think when, when it comes down to it and you think about the people that, that really – are traditionalists and hate the cheaters. 
uh, they're overlooking this significantly. Now they may not in a week when they find out that Joey's more involved than they thought, but like if they were to, yeah. Think of Ryan Braun, think of Tatis, think of these guys, think of even other sports, uh, TJ Dillashaw from the uh, UFC. Like when people find out that you cheat, you're kind of on the outside looking Mm. in unless they really like you. What about Barry Bonds? Did he get damaged? Of course. Yeah. Okay. Massively. Okay. But, you know, we're local and we always love oh, him. Because love you know what it is? Yeah. It makes us remember how we felt when we watched Barry hitting. True. That's what it comes down to. Uh, as we wrap up and I uh, want you to plug a show on the weekend, I would like to uh, admonish our chat mob and our text line to please stop. It is not funny for you to suggest active Kings players to do the next signing for Imran. <laughs> so just <laughs> knock it off. Stop throwing names out. Not going to read them. <laughs> I mean, it's, I it's can I can announce signings with our opposite players. Maybe I'll sign Luca. The, Maybe yeah, we'll have Luca on Saturday. Uh, he'll do it. He'll do it for a, he'll do it for, for a golden buffet. I was going to say for a beer and a, and yeah, a sandwich. Gift card. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, what's going on this weekend? We've got covering, you know, the Otani situation. Yeah. We'll also talk about Caitlin Clark. We'll see what's going on with the uh, tournament and how that's going to affect the draft stock and yeah. people that have interest in it. We've got the uh, all these trades and how it's really hurt products, like 2021 product. Now Zach Justin Fields is a backward. Are Zach Eady cards a good buy right He's now? still scheduled to be a second rounder. Yeah, I know. Well, so we, is that, we could probably pick him but up. But is that like a penny stock then? Yeah. Like I, I can stock up on Eady cards and maybe they hit, but if not, I haven't really lost much. You won't lose much. Yeah. You won't gain much either. Right here. <laughs> All right, check them out this weekend. That's our good friend, Amron um, Pilati, and uh, keeping you up to date on everything going on in the world of cards. You can check them out online, on Twitter, and so much more, including this weekend. We'll take a break. We'll wrap up with Across Talk Styles Watkins, Celebrity Birthdays, brought to you by Crumble Cookies, and more right after this. You never know what you might hear when listening to a Sacramento Kings game. Out of Keegan, going for another triple. Man, is he feeling it. Keegan, can he do it? Yes, there's number 11, Keegan Murray. Keegan steps back. He just knocked down his 12th three-pointer, a Kings franchise record. He's got 45 points. Never miss a moment of Sacramento Kings basketball with Sacktown Sports and the Sacktown Sports app. Bonneville International Radio Station Contests are open to participants at least 18 years of age and older that are residents of California and who reside in one of the six counties that make up the Sacramento metro area, unless otherwise specified. Employees or agents of the station, Bonneville International Corporation, other area radio stations, or any entity associated with the contest are not eligible to win, unless the station otherwise specifies in its own discretion. Persons who have won in the last 30 days from a station contest or event may not be eligible. For a copy of the general contest rules, visit khdk.com. Ignite something inside of you. Lightning and the thunder, thunder. Sets a light and elevated state of being. Days are pure exhilaration. And the nights, they're simply electric. See it, hear it, feel it. Thunder Valley Casino Resort. Feel the thunder. Are you stressing about your IRS tax problems? Have you received notices from the IRS threatening to garnish your wages, levy your bank accounts, or seize your property? You need an ally. Allies Tax Relief has tax attorneys and enrolled agents that are ready to fight for you. They have saved millions for taxpayers just like you. Allies Tax Relief can help put a stop to IRS collections and most importantly, negotiate your tax debt. Here's Brenda, a happy client of Allies Tax Relief. I owe the IRS around $57,000, and they're about to start garnishing my paychecks. I heard a commercial on the radio about Allies Tax Relief, so I thought I'd give them a call. After a day, they were able to at least stop the garnishments. And after a few months of negotiations, I walked away owing the IRS only $301. If you owe the IRS, call Allies Tax Relief right now for your free consultation. Call 800-230-5174. 800-230-5174. That's 800-230-5174. Four. Dr. Ken Halachek and kinesiologist Kelsey Graham discuss the Good Feet Store. The foot has a lot of detail. It has a lot of complexity. There's a lot that can go wrong. A lot of problems start in the foot and end up elsewhere. Knee pain, hip pain, back pain. When aligning the feet properly, we can see relief elsewhere. And that's the beauty of the Good Feet Art support. It can place the feet into their ideal position and gives them the balance, the support, the comfort, and the relief of the pain. The bottom line 
is that the Good Feet Arch Support can be a highly effective pain relief solution when nothing else has worked. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are going to function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Visit the Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Modesto, Stockton, and Vacaville for a free fitting and test walk. The weather's warming up, spring is here, and so is road trip season. And if you're saying, yeah, sure, I would love to load everything up in my car and hit the road and go on a long road trip, but I don't trust my car. It's not dependable. Well, then go see my friends at El Gro Kia. They'll get you into something dependable and super affordable, like a brand new 2024 Kia Forte LXS for $19,988. Yep, at a time when the average new car price is over $48,000, El Grove Kia can get you into a brand new car for less than half of that. This car's loaded with automatic transmission and 8-inch touchscreen with rear camera. It's got advanced driver assistance system, so it's got tech and safety. And again, this brand new 2024 Kia Forte LXS can be yours for only $19,988. Only at the number one Sacramento Kia dealer, El Grove Kia and the El Grove Auto Mall and online at elgrovekia.com. El Grove Kia sale price, $20,738. Kia rebate, $750. Net price, $19,988. One at this price, stock number GK9219. Expires March 31st, 2024. Birthdays are meant to be spent with family and friends, and nothing brings family and friends together better than freshly baked and home-delivered crumble cookies. It's time for the news of the day. The latest headlines, the biggest stories, hard-hitting analysis. Yeah, this is none of those things. And now, here's Carmichael, Dave, and Jason Ross. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Come on. Come on. Yes. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. All right. Well, let's. We got a lot to get to. Oh, let's all just calm down. We got a lot to get to. Come on. Let's start with some I, guys. I have some good news of which you're already aware of. Mm. I have some bad news I don't think you're aware of. Okay. And okay. we talked about this early when I got the, the text, and we've been waiting to talk about this until the crosstalk. All right, so the good news. Yeah. Freaking congratulations, it man. Happened. It, it happened. happened. Mm -hmm. yeah. It happened. We want the funk played after a Malik Monk play. That that was awesome. Twice. 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 Yeah, it happened. It happened. It was yeah. well-received, and it was a one-off. Yeah. Well, they're incredibly superstitious there. And so I got a text today saying, yeah, he's mm. off. We just had our biggest blowout of the year. Probably not bringing him back. Mm. Maybe not play it once they're already down 20. They were down just, 20. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Mm. I that, that, I that, that, you know it. what that sounds like? What? It sounds like it wasn't done in good faith. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. I, I, it, it sounds like you didn't want to do it, yeah. and they said play it. Because you know they played it low, Jason. They did. They, did they play played it, it low. Like, so now there's infighting. So you guys mm -hmm. are basically taking the king's ops to task. I'm not yes. saying you're wrong. The King's Ops the task for basically just kind of half assing it. That's right. Yeah. And they're saying, guys, we tried it and no, you didn't. we got and blown the out. Play. First yeah. of all, the off night, they got DJ Khaled to redub it yeah. to off night. Wow. This thing, they didn't even play. It was an instrumental. Yeah. Wow. Nobody knew what to do. Yeah. Nobody knew what to say. They play the Seven Nations Army thing like. A hundred times, and it barely they got, worked. They got and then so it barely was gone. Gone. That's a low blow. They, made, did, they really to tried to that. shove it down our throat just, for months. We got shoved anything down your throat. Moak, Moak didn't give anybody a, hey, wow. hey, wow. hey, Scott hey this is, wow. this is wow. what you're supposed to do in Jeez. this situation. No, Why? I told Chris, God. this is, what what is this, Chris? If this is, what is a Wasabi Wednesday? Yeah. Don't play with me today. Yeah. Wasabi Don't, Wednesday. It's spicy. Don't play with me today. Do not play with me today. Well, unfortunately. Jason? Yeah. Have they been like this all day? Yes. Have they? Yeah. All right. But well, we're just playing. That never happens. Mm -hmm. Never happened. I just made that whole thing up. Are you, you serious? <laughs> I mean, it was, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I just want to say it wouldn't have react. made sense. It wouldn't have made sense. Yeah. But it's, boy. It's, it's alive and kicking. But yeah. now we know how you would react. Yeah. Yeah. So Ooh. make it work. He did okay. play with you, didn't he? I didn't yeah. know it was Wasabi Wednesday. <laughs> I didn't know. Nobody told Dave, what did me. you think was going to happen? 36 yeah. points last it's night. It's not on okay. the calendar. <laughs> Look, today, Melissa doctor appointment. That's wow. it. No Wasabi, no wasabi. Wednesday. But, I, on but a lot of people are superstitious. It did cross I my mind. I am superstitious. I am. 
It but did your, cross my mind. But your point that they started playing it after they yeah. were getting blown out is it's is a factor. I yeah. now if they get blown out again Friday when they do it, we're gonna have to have a conversation, a tough conversation. But they were already down twenty. I'm saying it's like, not like it, it yeah. caused the if 20. they play in the beginning of the game. I'm saying yeah. on, on well, Friday. Well, I don't think he did he score in the first half. I, I, yeah, yeah. 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 I think he had two. Yeah, he didn't have much. Right, right, but yeah. they don't play it for everything. It's got to be a three or yeah. a. In I, fact, what I'm waiting for is like for him to have one of those highlights that goes to timeout, song plays, then you get the arena. Yeah, game. they do need to know what, what they're, they're supposed doing. to do. Exactly. Yes. All right. Well, don't yeah. be playing with them on a wasabi Wednesday. No. Please no. don't. I thought it was a woohoo. Let's have some fun Wednesday. <laughs> no. <laughs> celebrity birthdays. Yeah, we Wednesday. No, 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 no. 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 Uh, celebrity birthdays are meant to be. Uh, got and I better get one right. Actually, just birthdays, not all celebrity birthdays. I'm meant to be spent with family and friends. And uh, nothing brings family and friends together better than crumble cookies. Uh, gentlemen, just so you know, reports are saying this is true. I'm not messing around. That uh, Shohei Otani, had, no, I'm not messing around, has hired the same crisis PR firm as Alec Baldwin, Hillary Clinton, and Harvey Weinstein, uh, also representing Danny Masterson, Army Hammer, uh, and Prince Andrew, amongst others. Mm, I, yes. I, I want to double check that. But boy, if, 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 if that's the case, if, allegedly. If you do anything wrong, what do you need a crisis PR firm for? That's all I'm saying, right? That's it's becoming quite question. a crisis. Yeah, yeah. I say screw it. Hey, you know what? Celebrity, Celebrity birthdays. birthdays. Mm. I'm gonna today. You guys are gonna get the second name right on every one of these names. I okay. Happy birthday, Mariah. Gary. Hey, you got it. How old is Mariah today? That's Ooh, a tough. One. Wow, uh, she does not she want us to know. Young That's when right. she's really young when she's. It's got to be older than you think. Uh, no disrespect. Fifty-four. Someone. I'm gonna say fifty-six. Yeah, fifty-four. Wow. Uh, it was fifty-three. Fifty-five. Three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six. There is a correct answer in there, and it goes to Christopher Lod. Fifty-five. Oh, wow. Mariah Carey. Wow. Oh. Love takes time. My favorite Mariah Carey song. Oh. Obsessed. Yeah, well, you're hurting so much. What? I'm not obsessed. obsessed. I just like her song. Why are you so obsessed? Weird. Happy Sorry, birthday, Quentin. You're so Tarantino. mad. Are you still mad? I got Johnson. played okay. by you. <laughs> yeah. Quentin uh, Tarantino. Yeah, Quentin Tarantino. Great movies. He's like 63. Yeah. What's his best movie? Inglorious Bastards. <laughs> Why did you say it like that? Because <laughs> Kill Jane, Bill. Jane great. It's Django. Best movie. Um, I don't know how old he is. Oh. I'm going to say... 64? I said 63. Mm. 58. Uh, 61. We have a correct answer today. It goes to Chris Verlaud, 61. Wow. This is weird. This Can I just say something about Quentin Tarantino that's sure. super unfair? I, like, part of me refuses to really like him because I feel like he's a he, fuck guy. He, he, he is like the leader in the <laughs> clubhouse to me of people that someday something weird is going to come out about him that I don't know about yet. Like he, he just, makes movies to see women's feet. I, I think that's pretty. Yeah, well, <laughs> did you the thing of the one movie with Selma Hayek? Yeah. I read about that. I, you just no, it's all he put it's yeah, it's not just gives me one. the creepies is all I'm saying. Anyways, back to you, Jason. Happy birthday, Buster. Jose. Could be right. only. Rhymes. Mm. Buster Rhymes, yes. <laughs> Buster. <laughs> the vaunted Buster, Buster, Buster Rhymes. Buster. He's a little bit old. Is Buster... Is he 38? Mm. Is he 38? I should know this. Florida State. He's 37 or 38. I think, he, I think you're right, but I'll say 39 just to be fair. But I think he's I actually think he's 37. He's 37. 37. Yeah. Uh, we have a correct answer. 37. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How's that feel? Chris, is, for a lot, by the way, is three for three. Three for three. That is, is the record. One. I believe the record's three for three. No it? one's ever done four. Right? No. There we go. Here we go. And he's answering first. Clear the way. Okay. No second name needed. Happy birthday, Fergie. This is a Ooh, tough one. This is a Ooh. tough one. Sarah Ferguson? Uh, Duchess? Just Fergie. Oh, okay. So Chris has to go first? Yeah, he first. does. Because no yeah. one in the history Don't of the game has ever said it for I'm going to say she is 41. Okay. Oh, he's Ooh, nobody, I think she's old. older. He's, yeah, Nobody he's, has he's ever done four in a Black Eyed Peas, they, they, weren't, they weren't spring chickens. No, they weren't. She's 47. I don't know how springy they were. I'm going to go 45. Those chickens weren't springy. What are the chickens? <laughs> 40, I'll say 48. Okay. No correct answer. Yeah. Oh, the streak is broken. But Chris Watkins is the closest. 49. 49. Oh, wow. Wow. 49er. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. What's coming up on the show today on uh, Wasabi Wednesday? <laughs> yeah, Brendan and Frankie are, should probably be scared, but yeah. we are going to have our Kings Roundtable at 12.30, okay. breaking down what went wrong. I'm trying to think. You know what? That sounds like a sponsorable segment. Let me think about who could sponsor that. We'll uh, break. We'll come back with uh, the spicy ones. Walk, uh, what, these guys next. <laughs> Subscribe to Sacktown Sports on YouTube and watch the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and the Drive Guys. Live Monday through Friday from 6 to 6. Plus view archive shows and exclusive content. Subscribe at youtube.com slash Sacktown Sports. Timeshare trap and think there's no way out. Well, Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, has helped over 35,000 families out of financial hardship by getting them out of bad timeshares, and they may be able to help you.